Is this it? Is this the no. one I don't like, or is it? Boy, I don't like this one either. Yes, this region. Do. I do. I guess I like this one. By the way, I threw a banana peel away, and I didn't know if I could today. I didn't know. I just... No, do we that. have a composting? Something's going on with my computer today. Um, Man, was I having a great week. Kinda. Well, I mean, the whole 30. I was feeling good, and then I started going through... Uh, the detoxing of all of the food. Yep. And um, so I started feeling a little foggy, but things were going well this week. The yeah. show was going good. 2020, good year. We got great news. Yeah, I mean, Australia's on fire and World War Three is right around the corner. But, but I mean, Jake us. and Tanner's 2020 is doing <laughs> great. <Hey. laughs> and uh, it is doing I hate that bed. I hate how quick it stops. Oh, which one was that? (laughs) I don't know. I'm going to go through some of these. But anyway, I don't want to talk a lot about what's what's going on. But, man, we had great meetings. I was thinking these meetings were going to be so great yesterday. And they were. They weren't bad. Ultimately, they were. But why can't we just have a meeting without undertones of why we suck? Yeah. Well. And it wasn't that. That sounds very, very hard. I wish we just didn't suck. (laughs) <laughs> I know. I mean, there's a lot that we got to work on. Yeah. No doubt. But, man, I was just thinking, it seems like every meeting always leads into something else. Yeah, there's always a, re- uh, a separate reason why we're there. I'm tired today. I didn't sleep well. I don't know how well. I Like, right now, what I'm talking about, I don't care about. There is going to be how the, this, the, the show is going to be today. There is absolutely no reason why I am here this early. <laughs> yeah. Um, My phone died. My The alarm clock in the hotel room didn't work. And my computer died that I downloaded an alarm clock on. <laughs> and um, get boomer. I just woke <laughs> that up. Sound like yeah, a, it did. <laughs> well, because I was like, well, I don't have a phone charger and it's going to die. I should download an alarm clock on my laptop and do that. None of it worked. I just so woke did up. You get up. I just woke up. That's and nice. I was like, oh, what an appropriate time. Okay. Well, that seems weird. You should try doing that more often. I should. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is well, this is a fun time we to be went, awake. We were uh why we stayed here. By the way, without saying the name of the hotel, that is just cra- craptastic on the outside. Inside is wonderful. It's oh. like an ugly person. Oh yes. Yes. It is an ugly human. That's me of hotels. <laughs> um so we had our tropical takeover document party yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I I get more and more excited the closer we're getting to Mexico. I know. Like, in talking about all the things we're going to be doing, I'm excited. And then I, I went last night and got sushi. <laughs> yeah, where did you end up going? Island sushi. It was like two miles away. Yeah. It's really good. What time did you get back? I want to know, like, know your schedule. Like 8.20. Okay. What time were you in bed? <laughs> 8.25. <laughs> what was your room number? 2.16. Oh, I was 2.08. Oh, so you're only a few rooms down. Yeah. Um, but the document party, getting ready to go to Mexico. This seems like a pretty good group. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Seems I'm like excited. a partier. Kyle on delay was the only one that was super into it. Oh yeah. Him and hit. Yeah. He, he showed up wearing a, was he a drunk? sombrero or is oh, that just maybe. how he is? He's just he, a little wobbly all both. the time. Just yeah. okay. A little bit. All right. A little, can never tell. Can never tell. Um, but man, that's only 25 days away or no 21, probably 22. Like, we leave three weeks from Sunday. Or three weeks from Monday. Sydney, are you at all jealous? Is there one part of you that went, uh Yeah, her liver, probably. Mm. <laughs> um, I think it's never... I wouldn't necessarily... You know how I pick my vacation destinations. Pick the place with nothing in it. Yeah. And so, obviously, there's a lot to do in Cancun, Mexico. So, I don't... It's like nothing I would really pick for myself so if i would be like complaining or jealous it would be jealous that i'm not going for free and that just feels like bitter so oh, like it's not free well, not for me no. it just keeps getting more and more expensive for me now i got darren and courtney going and they're gonna want to do things and, oh, you know what i mean yeah. so now it's all of a sudden now i gotta spend money on things because i well it's not free for us exactly we gotta pay things there's, there's taxes involved and in, yes um and now i gotta pay someone to watch my kids yep Hey, it's just, that sucks hard. Stupid kids. And um, so mine keeps getting more and more expensive. How old How old would your 
would Piper have to be? I'm thinking this year, but we talked about it. <laughs> How old would Piper have to be for you to leave her for a week with Dewey? Oh, my God. I don't know if I ever would. As of right now, like I can't, 18, I can't even, I don't the... even know because I can't think of it right now because oh. they fight. They like fighting mm-hmm. each other, so I don't know. I did leave her alone just for a second when um, Dewey was getting his uh, teeth cleaned from Angie. I was had to go pick him up, and I go, Piper, I got to go get my Dewey. She's like, I don't want to go. And I go, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to run down and get him. That was the very first time I ever. Now, you got to remember Angie's work. Is, you were probably gone for upwards of 20 minutes. No. I would say three minutes. I would say, yeah, like oh, you three. you walked and what, grabbed and left? Yeah, he just ran right out. There was, oh, okay. I mean, because that building is so close, and mm-hmm. he was ready to go. So he just kind of ran out, and I uh, put him in the van and came back. But my God. Piper thought it was that she was gone. And she thought she was the king of the house. All of a sudden, she's oh. like, "I, I, can, I should have a cell phone now, right, Dad? Because you left me alone." I'm like, "No, I don't think that's gonna happen." <laughs> no, if anything, we're gonna get a home phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which, by the way, that's kind of smart thing to do. I might get one just so a kid can pick because mine has so many locks on it. Yeah, I, I thought about getting one just for that exact reason. The nine one one. Just teaching my kid at this point, this like, right. hey, dad lives a weird lifestyle, and if one day he clutches his chest and falls down, you got to call 911. I think you can do it on all your Alexas and Google Homes, too. Yeah, I believe so, too. So that's an idea. I should teach a kid that. I don't want to, because my kid, the second I taught her that she can get music on Alexa, and now it's just nonstop. Alexa, play Dance Monkey. You just I, have cops I, at your house all the time? That would be the absolute be getting worst. fines left and right? Oh, my God, yeah. I I like, called, when I had an Apple Watch, I called the police on it because I laid on it. Uh, yeah, because you can do that. I did. How that. do you call the police? Do you, you, is there a little button right on there? Right you hold it. Oh, whoops, not that one. It's like this one. Oh, yep. really? Oh, and so you got five seconds to... Yeah, to, it'll hold it call. for five seconds. Oh, wait a minute. You hold it for five seconds and it automatically starts dialing? It yes. does that on your iPhone. Well, it's it a setting it on, on your iPhone. It does it on your iPhone, too. So one day I went and I surprised Kayla with a new phone. Um... So I was like, I was just going to get her phone fixed. And they were like, we can just give her a new one. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do that. Uh, And I put it back in the box so she could open it up and it was be all nice. And I was driving down the road and I heard, and I was like, it was like, I'm calling the police. And I was, I had to throw the phone in the back and yeah, it was terrible. I want to go back to straight talk. You and Gordon. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god, Gordon, you man. and Gordon could have a family I'll plan. You, straight talk commercials are the best, and that's the only reason. Well, I want to do it because you, how cheap it is. Yeah. The, the phones are worthless. And I mean, any like, kind if of you buy your support. phone outright, you could just bring your phone over to, to straight talk. Yeah, that's true. I could do that. But do probably. you want to spend $900 to buy your phone no, outright? No, not really. Do you have to jailbreak it? No, not. No, I, don't I don't think, think so. so. But the, the, the customer service... You get Charlie that either yeah. you get Charlie that works at Walmart that doesn't care about you. Yeah, who is terrible at selling phones. Oh, he's the I'd worst. I like an iPhone. Don't get an iPhone. <laughs> and then you got or you got to call, um, basically because they set their service up. I believe in other countries. Oh, do you know what I mean? They're you know, mm-hmm. and you can actually hear them flipping through the page like. <laughs> When you ask the problem, they're looking to see where your question is or something similar yeah. to it so they can read an answer. And they're also selling Tupperware. Yeah. Are you calling about the Tupperware? Yeah. No? Are, okay. The invisible fence for dogs? Which mm. one are you looking for? Hey, question <laughs> uh, regarding cell phones. Has, I, I am an expert. Has either, have, yeah. has zings. Mm-hmm. Has you either's gotten those fake, those like extended warranty calls? Or, for your car? Or like the Medicare calls, you know, all those the, those robot scammers that were calling everybody's Every phones. Every day. You, are you still getting them? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I talked to a few people, and they haven't got them ever since the bombing of Iran. No, I I just you got still, one yesterday oh, about okay. a whole warranty, but... Yeah, because I, I thought it was interesting because mine went down a lot. Like, I used to get a couple a day, and now I've only gotten two in like a week. Yeah, you're probably right. I was getting two or three a day. Yeah. Man, does that suck. Like, literally, I'm, I'm going to put on my answering machine, hey, it, I'll call if I don't have your number saved in my phone, I'll call you right back, but I'm sick of picking up the phone. Because it sucks, man. 
Is what? It, it's picking up, just getting random. Because you know that that rush of endorphins that you get, like when your phone bings and somebody's talking to you, or like you get a phone call and it's like, oh, somebody cares about me, and now it's just some stupid person talking to me about a free cruise I won. Yeah, you know what's sad? I like. Let me tell you. Well, you tell me. I will tell you when you have good news to share. I have nobody. Like, I, yeah. Like I, if my Who do you phone call? rings, yeah. Because you guys always text. Yeah. So if my phone rings, it's Colton or Angie. That are, those are the only every anybody you else should get, it's spam. You should get Piper a phone spam? just so she can call you. She won't call him. She won't call me. She did yesterday, <laughs> and all she wanted was a you. soccer ball. Oh, have you thought about getting your kid one of those watches? No. The the you can call mom, dad, and nine one one, and it's a GPS watch that so you can check their location whenever you want. Low jack them. Yeah, oh, yeah that you can neat, do though. that on regular phones. I don't know the app, but my whole like family has oh, yeah, it on their phone, and they all just track each other, and it's the weirdest thing. Where'd yeah, you get, where'd you get that? Uh, where'd you get that Sherpa coat? Ooh, how, who's that asking? is definitely an alpaca. I'm, I'm asking Jake. You oh, do no. look like an alpaca. It's, Save the alpaca. It is Sherpa. Okay. I got it from. I got it. I picked it out for myself for my like parents Aldi. from Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like an Aldi buy. Where did you end up getting it? Airy, do you want to feel? No. How what much it? was it? Um, it was fifty percent off. So I don't. And no, it was from my parents. What? What did you? Where did you get it? Airy. Where is that? It's the American Eagle. So it's like part of American Eagle, but the girl side. But it's like their underwear section. That's underwear you're wearing. Are you wearing underwear? You're wearing Sherpa underwear. Is that oh, supposed to be pajamas? I want, I want some Sherpa underwear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you imagine the stank that would come off wow. you? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, you guys, I haven't showered in a couple days. Uh, oh, FYI. I showered yesterday, but I didn't do anything in there. <laughs> Have you ever done that? <laughs> yes, I've left yes. here. And my wife will say this. How do you get in a shower and not wash yourself. And I go, I don't know, the heat felt nice. I've gotten out of the shower and looked in the mirror and said, your hair's not even wet. What did you do? <laughs> yeah, I've done that. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Oh. Hey, on Planet Fitness, we want to talk to you about that for just a second. Um, know this, $10 a month. 10 $20 if you want the VIP experience. The VIP experience is so, so Awesome. That you get to be in uh you get to go in behind the scenes there. Yeah. yeah. Massage tables. Yep. They have massage hydro chairs. massage, massage chairs. They've got um Hydro Massage, uh, I they do it max is like ten minutes on it. Yeah. I wish it was longer. I bet I guess you could loop right back through. Oh, if you yeah, wanted just get to. more tokens and yeah. just be like, This is mine. I'm gonna sleep here. That's what the one guy I went and tried tokens. it out. Tokens. I never get tokens. Oh, that's for the chairs. Oh, okay. they'll, they'll handy little token for it. But um, for the hydro massage, the dude's like, let me set you up with this. And he was like, I'll, I'll turn it on for you. And I was like, that's awesome. And it went through. And he's like, I'll turn the lights off for you. And I was Ooh. like, if you turn the lights off, I'm going to sleep here. <laughs> like, you understand, I work mornings. I will lay down and sleep. And then I did. And I got up six hours later. And the guy was still there. And he was there for, with hot chocolate for me. He was like, That's the Planet Fitness nail? experience. I love when that happens to me. Know that your New Year's resolution, it's happening right now. Uh, maybe you haven't got your gym that you need. Well, this is the place you need to be. Yep. Also, uh, super clean. I can't... That's the one thing... Uh, they they never tell us to say this. Yeah. But the the cleanliness... Is, like, unprecedented. It's... un. You could... If you want, it's cleaner than my house. Oh, I can tell you that. Sure they actually have people house. that come in there and uh, we'll put on their little white gloves. Yep. And uh, we'll go around to see if there's any dust. Yeah. Yeah. They they rub they're the like underside. They rub the underside of treadmills. Yep. And they're just like, yeah. Oh, so really um, perfectly clean. Not saying you're at all dumb if you don't go to Planet Fitness, but I'm, I mean, I yeah, you know, it's only ten dollars a month. Yeah. And, and no contract. And. Uh, we don't say this very often. They're open 24 hours, and they're staffed 24 hours a day. So, like, there's no excuse to say, like, oh, I don't have time to go. Yeah, you've got time. And the people that work there know how every single piece of equipment works. Hey, we're on uh, more Jake and Tanner show. We're going to do it next.
up that I don't love him. But I don't. Hi. 866-916-0959. Someone just did push-ups in the studio yeah. before we went on uh, air. I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out who it was. I don't think two people are physically possible of doing I, it in this room. Yeah, I can't do a push-up. I gotta wake up. I'm trying to wake up. I'm, I feel like I could fall asleep right now. Hold on. You weren't. Pest control text line, which, by the way, those guys need to give a class on how to brand. Oh, they are my. a, they're really good at branding Ewart. Yeah. The, I love every, them. like, what were there? Probably 10, 15 people that were wearing Ewart sweatshirts? No kidding. At the I, party when, we last went, night? when we went out into the parking lot, I go, man, we got to do that for our show. Right? <laughs> I mean, they actually the love, hell? they love their brand. They love their company. I yes. go, why don't we love Jake and Tanner? We, we should love us more. Have really you sure. seen the mascot on the back? Really cute. What man? What they man? They got a mascot? Well, there's some sweatshirts that have the raccoon, and then there's some with a little pest control guy. Oh, my God. Hey, do you remember <laughs> that one mascot we had in every video? We put him in the corner. <laughs> oh. In any video we did, we put him in the corner, and I always considered him my mascot, which you probably shouldn't consider another human being your mascot. No. But he looked... He was a dirty little individual. Wasn't he a dirty Are little we kid? About Fruit Loop? No, the other dude, they had the, like, the mullet, sweaty yes. mullet. No, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yes. Miss that guy. What happened to him? I remember right when he came in, he's like, hey, I want to do what you guys do. How do I do this? But he said it in a weird, I want to do what you guys do. How do you do you're and not he literally the one guy with the half eye, Rat Man. <laughs> no, that guy. Oh, man, we have met some really wonderful people in this career. I kid you not. Oh, my God. And, and they've almost all been coworkers. Like, remember the one dude at... at um. At KTI, who was like the the dude who's always hunched over like this, and what I you hate him? Yeah, you oh. hate him with a passion. Do I just he wears dislike cowboy boots. that guy? And here's the reason: we were doing a remote once, and he started giving us tips on how to do remotes. We were, I kid you not, we went, we were at a bar that we sold out. Now, I'm not being all braggy, but let me yes. be braggy for a second. It was wall-to-wall people to come hang out with yes. us. It was Again, fun. it sounds braggy, and it is. Um, and we had to do remotes. We had to do these live call-ins. He was an afternoon jock that wanted to do mornings bad. And usually that's how it goes. We did the same thing. We yep. said we're better than Murphy, which by the, we're not. But no. I'm just saying that at that time we were saying this. We could do what he's doing. Why is he there? Yep. It's just how it rolls. Um, now, it, when we were there doing these, you'd have to call him, and then he would set you up through the board, and you're interrupting his show, and that's always a thing. It's a weird thing where it's like, hey, come on down to this place. Stop listening to this radio and yeah. come on down and hang out with us. And... um. He said, that I remember him going, hey, why don't you do this? Interview someone here and do this. I go, hey, lady, buddy. Because <laughs> like, I'm not sure, not, nothing against this, but, well, anyway. And I go, are you telling me how to do this? Because, like, this isn't our first rodeo. Like, we can do a remote and then he with got, our people. Then he got mad that we were late. On one of them, and I yeah. go, dude, you don't, you're not here. You have no idea what it's like. Mm -hmm. I, we have to drink with these listeners. I'm sorry we got hammered, but that yeah. was, a, that was a really weird too. We came in the next day or that Monday, and we were like, man, we sold that out. This is going to be a people yeah, are going to like gonna this. Love, they're yeah. going to want to do this more and more. And boy, did we have meeting after meeting after that, and how bad um, what we did was so wrong. Did I yell it? Was I yelling at that dude? I think I was getting I, pretty angry. At, yeah, you may have yelled at him. Um, but I, I know that that's not fair because that was one of the most fun bar experiences we ever had. And we went back and they all they said was, oh, you guys <laughs> sh shouldn't have uh, ha drank, had anything to drink that night. Now, Thank listen, you. we were behind the bar drinking and serving people drinks. We are not. We're, I was a bartender, though. Yeah. So Don't was bartenders I. drink. Oh, yeah. Every bartender well, drinks. Boy, I did a lot. Yeah. I've never seen a sober bartender. Was, no, they don't exist. No, and if you do, don't trust them. Oh yeah, if a bartender isn't drinking their own drinks, that means that they put something in it. Boy, that was a really we never we never got. Huh. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I'm even I giggles accused, here. I just accused almost every bartender <laughs> of roofing people. Oh yeah, don't do that. 
And those no. are my brothers. <laughs> they could be putting crystal light packets. Anything. Yeah. Um, but I remember, again, not getting too venturing off in that weird station. We were, I'm going to be honest. I told my wife, and you will probably disagree or hate that I say this. That could have been one of my I, favorite spots. Oh, the the location was fun. I loved being a part of Milwaukee. I loved the history of that building. I liked the radio station. To be honest, him it was scary. There was times you're always, well, not times. <clears throat> every day you're wondering if you have a job. But the the constant putting pressure, me thinking of what to do next. Yeah. You, for me, anyways, and what they were saying on my side of it. Um, yeah, I look at it and go, boy, that sucked. But in a way, I kind of liked it. And it kind of pushed us this. He changed our life. He did. The, the, the guy that hired us over there completely changed our destiny. Like, it needed, we needed to be there. Yeah. I, I didn't, like, I liked the, if different bosses, that would have been the best place mm -hmm. in the world. But that's not, with that's not the hands we were dealt. Um. That being said, we love Ewart. I don't even know how we got from this Ewart to that. Ewart? I think so. Oh, by the way, when we were doing that, <laughs> we were doing the, we had that document party. We were all at Tanner's Grill and Bar there yesterday, yeah. going through everybody that's going to go to Mexico with us and going over things. My jokes were not landing. Oh, no. I was trying hard. Um, I was like, oh, you know what it was? I figured yeah. it out. I, did, I didn't start with my main joke that yeah. I always do. I didn't start. And you said you were going to. I know it. My main joke, whenever I have a group of people, is I go, thank you guys for being here and joining us. We're here to talk to you about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yeah. And usually, it does not kill. Yeah, it doesn't one kill. One of these days, it will, though. Yep. Yeah, that, that joke will land one day. And then it, I said something about what stays in the, what happens in the foam stays in the foam when we have our foam pool party. It, and I literally <laughs> had to tell them. That that's that's no, I'm not nobody's touching it. Yeah, you you you'd said you said it as a joke. They took it as a threat. <laughs> like I'm not kidding. There I'm, was a few instances where people were just like, "Is he serious?" I think I've started some rumors about you. Yeah, I don't that think they may be landing. I don't like, think helped that. at all. Well, maybe if you didn't just you call are, people darling. I yeah. shut up, Sherpa. <laughs> And I've said this before. It's not your fault that you're a sexual deviant. No, no, no. Oh. No, I'm not. I'm not. I, I, am I know not. it's not your fault. The thing is, no. oh. is that I've driven on your stretch of highway before. I don't drive that drive anymore. And and but you did it for two years. And almost every single uh billboard. Yeah, you're detoxing now. You're getting better. But every <laughs> single billboard is for some sort of either strip club or you sex just, shop. You make it sound like I just walk around humping things like all the time. <laughs> God. Oh No, I remember calling Jake when we were on our way down to Chicago, and I was like, I understand why you are a sexual deviant, because there, <laughs> there, is, is, just, there is just... Just porno signs everywhere on that highway. You can't stop to go take a pee somewhere or take a nap without somebody going in there with a phallic thing <laughs> tapping on your windows. Being, you need this? Well, I feel I feel bad too for those people that there's a beautiful house right by Excite, <laughs> <laughs> and you know Excite built after that house. Oh yeah. So they have to. Oh, that's that is who yeah, approves and, that? And you know that. You know that they sat there, like, right when they broke ground on construction, they were just like, I wonder what's going to go there. I hope it's like a Walgreens. That would make our life so much easier. Just walk on down to the Walgreens, grab some soap <laughs> and stuff like that, and that would be really great. And they're like, what is Excite? That sounds fun. Maybe it's like Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> so why aren't they putting any windows? <laughs> yeah, there is no window. <laughs> yeah, dude, you can't have windows in a place like that. Um... Uh, thank you, questionable Kevin. Jake, I can't wait to get in the foam with you. And then Kyle, swingers party in the foam. That's not happening. Mm -hmm. I was going to make another joke, but then I didn't think it was going to land when she said, right in the beginning, before all the foam jokes, Yeah. Um, she said, uh, at Mojo or at jo JoJo's. JoJo's, they have, you know, that's the bar, the food, and they got the, they got the swing. The, it's a swing, the swing bar. bar or she yeah. said a swing bar, and I was going to go, and there's no swing, so imagine that. Ooh. But then I was like, oh, that people aren't going to laugh, and they're just going to think I want to touch them. Once again, it's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, 
Um, speaking of, did you get thicket? I did. Is that what you call that? Yeah, I called it thicket. But this the brand I got it's called Thicken Up. Okay. Either way, it all sounds dirty. Seven sounds like I bought it at Excite. Right, uh, right in the beginning, of the seven o'clock hour, we're going to be doing our bet check-ins with Planet Fitness. Um, see who has to, whoever loses this has to drink this thicket, and uh, if we both have succeeded our bet mm-hmm. or our yeah our bets, Sydney has to do it. I've already failed. Mine. Okay, no worries, Sydney. Um, also, we're giving away five hundred dollars today with uh, Planet Fitness now. So, if we're going to be doing this for the next like few weeks, find a Planet Fitness. There's eight locations. Yep. Find them. Get in there. Talk to them. Say, hey, what's the Jake and Tanner keyword? They will give it to you. You text it to seven ten ninety, and that's it. And you get a chance to win five hundred, yep. like we're going to be doing today. You don't have to be a member. You don't. I mean, you should sign up for a membership, but you don't have to be a member. You don't have to buy anything while you're there. Like, just go and ask them for it. Get in there. I had a dream yesterday. I told Tanner at the at Tanner's, and um, oh yeah, <laughs> I I fell asleep for like fifteen minutes in the hotel room, mm-hmm. and I had a dream that my mom was still alive. And I went, oh man, one day she's gonna be dead. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cherish this I, time. Cherish, with her. I was like, I should talk to her and call her more and stuff. And then I woke up and I went, "Oh, my parents are both dead." So sad. I miss them. I'm apparently. Yeah. Well, apparently, just your mom. Yeah, I don't know what happened to dad in that dream. Anyway, so that was fun. That's what it's like being Jake. Do you think? Okay, I love thinking that time travel is a thing. Do you think you accidentally fell asleep and woke up and like you were experiencing something that you dealt with? Five years ago, six years ago, in my head, yes, that I was like where you crossed consciousness. Sorry, I'm basically high this morning. I'm no, that's okay. Tired. No, it's all right. I'm having all these kind of weird moments because I just watched Messiah, the Netflix series. Did you finish it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know you were watching <laughs> yeah. that, and you finished it. Is it good? Yeah. You well, am I gonna hate it? No, I don't think Is so. No Maybe. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> yeah. There's no. There's no. Uh, there's no people flying around. There's nobody jumping over a princess to save him or anything like I guess that. I'm out. <laughs> Um, it's all right. It's okay. You would hate it. What's the I last? think so. The whole Messiah <laughs> thing is, I mean, it's like what we say, which is kind of, it's kind of a neat thing. Yeah. Is this dude, he comes and he starts getting this big following. Yep. Because he's done a couple things. Yeah. And he know and he's very intelligent, knows the Bible. Does, is he the Messiah or is he super good at illusions? Yeah. That's, that's Wait, literally what a, it, what it is. Is this a television program or is ten, this Ten a- episodes. It's not a docu series. Like this guy didn't come out. No, this oh, okay. isn't a true thing. This okay. is this is fictional. They're actors. Oh, darn. Because I do want somebody to just come out and say I'm Jesus, and just start doing close up magic and see if he gets followers. It's so hard nowadays because ever because the internet because David Blaine and Chris Angel have ruined that. Because yeah. you would automatically yeah. think if Jesus came back and started doing stuff, you'd be like, okay, I just saw that on Mind Freak. Yeah, stupid. Get out of here to throw eggs at him. <laughs> You're throwing eggs at the, the, the sun. Hey, uh, visit North Star Mohica Casino Resort for amazing cash and prize giveaways and world-class entertainment. For events and info, visit NorthStarCasinoResort.com. On the way, why is everybody clapping? For Nope, nope, I'm not doing that, nope. Dark side. I got a few of these uh, jobs that people explain. These are the dark sides of these jobs. Ooh. Things that normally you don't hear about. I thought that'd be fun. Maybe we'll get into ours. Um, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk next. It is the Jake and Tanner show. Good morning.
this ever get better? What? I'm feeling a little foggy today and a little unmotivated. Did you hear me say today that the words that are coming out of my mouth, I could just give up on any time? Yeah. And I was just... Uh, and then Angie's like, I'm so unmotivated today. And then she got into her whole 30 book and says day six and seven, that's how you're supposed to feel. When does it get better? Yeah. When is this a good thing you, to do? You told me that it gets, it's bad the the days two through I, three. That's what I thought. Two I thought that four. was it. And now five through seven are supposed to be depressing too? Get in the book. What is eight through ten going to be? More <laughs> depressing. It's where yeah. the thoughts come on. <laughs> this is where the it's when the voices start talking to you. Because all you're doing is just not eating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you're doing this that. When will you kill for bread? <laughs> I felt bad because yesterday, right when we were leaving the party, I was like, oh, Jake, we're all going to get some sushi right down the road you want to go with. And you're just like, no. I probably could. I can have fish and yeah, all that, but, but I don't know what. Not rice, though. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, so I mean bananas. <laughs> so all I eat is bananas no, and tuna. I, banana, go, and tuna. Banana, tuna. You go to Quick Trip right now, or if you go to my vehicle, I just bought two, uh, what do you call those? Bananas? Yeah, but what do you call those? If you buy bunches. Them, bunches. I bought two bunches of bananas. They're just chilling, because that's what I do now. And that's just your weekend meals? By the way, meal quick, prepping? FYI, Quick Trip, you can get bananas. They sell a they sell everything there. ton of them there. Yeah. Didn't we, when we were doing advertisements for them, didn't they send us some, like, ridiculous number? Like, we sell 500,000 bananas a day, and it's like, I don't know if that's true. And then, like, you did some <laughs> yeah. research, and they were just like, oh, my God, yeah, you sell actually more than that. You're underselling the amount of bananas you sell. Hey, uh, I was listening to Dave. I, Angie and I are back kind of on this Dave Ramsey kick. We did it years and years ago mm -hmm. and lost a ton of debt. Not saying we're in debt <clears throat> I was gonna say, at all now. Are we're, you, like, uh, are you, like, Back on, like, do you have thirty thousand no, dollars in credit card no, debt again? Not, like, not I, like, is your not house filled with all. weird things? No, nope, not at all. There's just things that we want to take care of, yeah, and get situated more that we've been putting on the back burner. And <clears throat> anyway, so I was listening to Dave Ramsey's podcast. Which, by the way, if you if you a couple different things, if you want to go super local here, Verve can. Oh, Verve can, Verve can, can help, help you out really a, well. a ton with getting out of debt. But also, if you if you don't want to talk to anyone and you want to do it, you can get Dave Ramsey's book. And for me, years ago, it was the best thing that's ever happened. I wish I would have stayed on that in 2008 until now. Because my, not saying that we're doing bad, but we would be doing a hell of a lot better if I would have just kept that mind, yeah, uh, that mindset. But boy... Sometimes it's hard to do that when you're only making radio when you're in the very beginning stages of radio. Yeah, and you live in your neighborhood. Well, not that's It's okay. got to be a little hard to it's save not, money. No, in no, the, no, no? The, the, we're making, we're right on their budgets. I mean, besides Chic, and Darren doesn't live there. Oh, Darren, yeah. Darren's, his, that's, Darren and Courtney, they, they don't live in our area. Um, How did you meet them? Are they just at, friends with the people? Uh, at the, uh, funny. <laughs> the river? No, Yar. Yar is a lake. Yeah. Took the kids. And he's with his kids, mm -hmm. with his wife, and they're sitting there, and we're kind of off over here. And she ha <clears throat> Courtney has a jug of lemonade, and she took a drink. And I go, that's it. There's alcohol in that. I bet you we can be friends because they're drinking. They hate their life just as much as yeah. we do. And so I went. He We had a little fishing, a little paddle boat, a two-person paddle boat, and none of his kids would... Uh, go on the paddle boat with them. And I go, I, hey, I'll go out there if you want to have a beer. That's how it went. And we sat in that paddle that boat. That is so... And we it, came, and then he came, they came over. I was if you guys want to come over, we're going to have a little get-together, which we didn't know we were. But in my fam, in my neighborhood, you, you just, you, oh, it's, it's like a it beacon. If open. you, yeah, if there's a garage open, then people show up. And that's how it went. And we've that been... It seems so out of character for you. To just walk up to a guy that you don't know. Yeah, it it that is weird, right? Yeah, and and I don't know why I did it. I think because Soul we were there at serendipity. Right, serendipity. You guys maybe. are supposed to be together. And now he's going to Mexico. Yeah. Now he's in my will for my children. Is he? Well, I don't have anybody else. 
Not well, that you. sucks because now he's going to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, well, I got other people too. It was just like, uh, just like mine. We, I was like, we we picked my Dave and his wife to <laughs> yeah, take you're right on that. And then they came to Mexico with us. I was like, so who gets her if they don't? Does she just go in the system? Well, I well, think that's how it goes, man. I don't think the entire everybody. If, if you guys if went the to plane Mexico. went down, Dave, let's have Mahana. Okay. okay, that just like doesn't happen. What? It one hundred percent happens. That's no, happened. Like happen almost happen never, though. That, oh, I mean, right. no, that's I true. It doesn't that. happen often, but it can. Um, yeah, that's a weird thing. To, that's a weird for us because Angie's parents are nowhere near. They can't even take care of themselves. Yeah, and I would rather give them to the court system than I would <laughs> to go to Gordon and Pam because they would lose their mind on how <laughs> bored they would be. Not that's great true. people. Love them. Love them to they're death. Not they're ready just for really, a five and nine year old. No, they're just not. They just don't know how to. They're just not great at grandparenting. Um. And then Colton and Jen are our go tos, yeah, big time, because they actually they, they actually them. got their us together. Yeah, they're and, really mature. They're mm-hmm. they're just good people. Yeah. They're, that's my nephew and his wife. That's good. And um, they have a kid now. Anyway, I don't even know what we what we were talking about. I don't know how this started. How did that even start? I, I, oh, you met Darren. Oh yeah, no, I no, it was, was right, like right, through. right. Oh, the Dave Ramsey. Dave thing. Ramsey, Ram Daily. Um, again. If you're at all in debt, and it seems when you read this book, Mm -hmm. it's called Total Money Makeover. That's the one that we do. You can do Financial Peace University, but I think that's for people that are in like super in a mess. Like $38,000 in credit card debt and can't stop. You need to listen to his podcast because it'll make you feel better. Not all the time. There's times where you'll be like, oh my God, this this 20-year-old just paid for his house in cash. But- there are people that are really in a mess where they got hundred they got hundred and fifty thousand dollars in student loans, plus they got fifty thousand dollars in credit, in, card, in credit card. Then they, they have two vehicles that are twenty five thousand dollars a pop. Yeah. I mean, they're they're in a they're in a wreck. And then I will play that for my wife and go see this. We're doing fine. No, but you can. I I really do. If you're if you are thinking about. If you're like, man, I need to, I need to figure out finances. I got to get this stuff together. I really suggest that it worked yeah. for us like, like crazy. But anyway, I was listening to his podcast, and he was talking about. I almost went into the chiropractic field. Yes, and and he, someone called and said, my husband is getting ready to go become a doctor, and he's going to have two hundred fifty thousand dollars in in student loan debt. And she, he's like, okay, well, I, I, we can we can work with this. Um. And then he asked, "Well, what is what field is he going into? I mean, as a doctor, is he going into you know, like pediatrics is he going to be a surgeon? Or, right. Is he going to be a diagnostic doctor?" He said he's going to be a chiropractor. And then there was a pause, and I'm because sorry. I've heard the horror stories, because yeah. I did a lot of research on this, and he said, "In my career, I have had to help the chiropractor a ton of them." with their finances and every single one of them wish they wouldn't have taken the mm-hmm. student loan debt. He said, I'm not trying to talk you out of it, but it, you got to find a different way. He says, because he's going to be a doctor and he doesn't get paid doctor salary for like the first seven years. You you get out of there making 50 to $70,000 a year, but yeah. you have $250,000 in medical loans yeah but you're not getting paid that and he said and then after that there are a handful a handful that'll make 150 but he goes it's a few of them yeah there's more that'll make 60 70 80 than there will be making 150 to 200 hey what do you do right now and you wish you uh you would say don't get in this career i'm like 866-916-0959 or or you are pest control tax line 71090 that must have been confusing for him because she started off by saying he's going to be a doctor Right here, some... turned out to be a chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I married the wrong. <laughs> I got bamboozled, Dave. Oh no! Uh, FPU. This is Financial Peace University. Uh, Debt free. Forty years old. Complete life changer. This How is long somebody did it take you. That's, That's what, what I want to know. Okay, I want to know. Well, everybody is different on this because yeah. everybody has different income. Yeah. So that is going to be a different thing for everybody. But I will tell you this: even what Angie and I are doing, we're not really in debt at all. But the way we're on our steps are called a lot of baby steps. But the steps that we are on and mm-hmm. trying to accomplish, it looks daunting because you go, "Well, that's a long, that's a long time." But listen, mm-hmm. I've been in. How long have I been in Wisconsin now? Seven, eight years now. That's what I'm saying. It goes by quick. Like you know, you open your eyes and then boom. My, it, it does seem really daunting though. Yeah, 
So, like, what what is your like? Not to get into all the your money and stuff, but like, how how when you say it's daunting, how far? Like, are you a year and you'll be debt free? Do you think? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We okay. could we could. I'm talking cars and everything. Cars and house? Not house. Oh, house. House. I would not be debt free on house. Okay. That that is something. I mean, we'd like to possibly put extra money towards when we can when once we get the cars paid off. But yeah, um, the house he doesn't even Dave says you know he he's he wants you to do a fifteen year fixed or pay cash. Those are your two options for houses. No, I'm telling you, dude. This podcast, there are people paying cash for their flipping houses. It is un. Again, I daunting don't... years, years to do this. But there are people that do this, or they go and they get these fifteen year fixed. I have a friend, and he follows Dave Ramsey, like, and he was like, he buys his cars the Dave Ramsey way. Yep, you never have to have a car if you do this. And I know you would have to like look into it and all this, yeah. but if you do this, you would not have to 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 put loans on these things. Oh my god! And he he like buys his semis outright. I think. Yeah, I, are like a hundred and some thousand dollars. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, it will change your life. It's it, it again, it's daunting though. Oh yeah, do you it know seems what I mean? Terrible. But, like it seems it seems terrible while you're in it because it's like, to me, it is. To me, that seems like that's the extreme of saving money to the point where it's like you get to have fun like once a month, and when you have fun, don't do like uh, talking. Go get something for dinner once a month. Or even right. less I mean, than that. Here, here, somebody said, we started Dave Ramsey a year and a half ago and we're $25,000 paid off in debt. That's just amazing. That Honestly. is. And, and, you know, the way the way that we're doing it and what we're and how we're going through it, I mean, every situation is different. Everybody, mm-hmm. yeah, I got kids, yeah. you got to do this, you got to do that. But um, you got to get mad a little bit. Like for me, you got to be fed up with it before you can really I, make I, that kind of a I gotta change. Get, well, you know what's happening with me is I hit thirty nine and I'm starting to think about forty, and I go, "Oh, this I got to get going on more things. I got to get I got to get some things situated." Yeah, you know what I mean. There's just got to be a little bit more that I got to be preparing for. Thing, you know what I mean, preparing for years down the road, mm-hmm. and that's that's where that's where I'm getting fed up with. But anyway, yeah, I um. I I I lost what I was gonna say because I read a text that said um, thirty five paid off my student loans in twenty four months. Like that sounds okay. This is what I was gonna say. Dave Ramsey sounds like if I were to read this book, that he got super rich on not secrets. Like they're not secrets. It's common sense. But here's a he plan says to it follow. all. He says it all. It's all common sense. Yeah, it's common sense. He got, sense he on got how you should very very it. wealthy, mm-hmm. and then he went completely broke because he did not know how to handle his money. And then he studied on what to do and how to do it. And he worked this system. Yeah. And he says this to people, people that say, Oh, Dave's crap. It doesn't work. He goes, well, then you do something and prove it because I've been doing this for years and changing people's life. Mine is proven. Oh, I you don't know what think I mean? that he's crap. I think no, 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 that following I, I, I his didn't thing, say, oh, I didn't yeah, say yeah, about yeah. you, but I'm like, just saying, I don't understand anybody who could say that his thing doesn't work because all he's telling you is to save money. How right. does that not work? This well, isn't a pill. And, and they, they through these baby steps that he calls them, they're um it later into it, it's it's teaching you investing so like, and me, what to do. And so give me an example. Like what are your first baby steps? Like to, first baby steps is uh, well, yeah, I can just in a nutshell. There's a yeah. lot more. I, I really suggest getting the book. Um, okay, I'm not going to buy your book, okay? <laughs> what, what do you got? I'm selling out of your trunk? <laughs> Number one is... Do you want me to go to your say, flipping you gotta, eBay again? <laughs> this is a scary one. You got to say, you, you uh, for some people, that you get, you save $1,000 for your emergency fund. You always have $1,000. Okay. That's it. Anything over this, you're paying off debt. Okay. Okay. So any you have your thousand. So but now, but step say, one, say, thousand say, bucks. Say in the bank. something, a window breaks. You got to pay four hundred dollars. You got to st- hold off on your debt, replenish your thousand dollars. Yep. Then you start it again. Okay. Uh, step two is really attacking um, the debt, and it's. I think I've told you this. The, the snowball, snowball effect. Your lowest. To... Your lowest. Your lowest bill first. So yep. if you only owe five hundred dollars, you do your lowest just because it feels like you're accomplishing things and it yep. keeps you going. And then you take that money and add it on to the next bill and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah. So if it was like fifty dollars a month on student loans, so say this is the way I looked at it. If you have, we're paying three bills. Let's just do the three bills. 
right? Three debt payments. Yep. One was 50, one was 100, one was 150. Yep. So you, after you paid off your $50 one, you would roll that 50 into your $100 payment. So now you're making $150 Correct. payments on that. And then once you're done with that, you roll that into your... 150 so now you're making a $300 that's, payment. That's on. very correct. That's baby step two. Now, yeah. now go. if you go, I'm sorry, in the very beginning, you got to start a budget low because you need to know where all your money is going because any extra, yeah. you got to be, after the $1,000, you got to be taking any extra money you have and taking care of this debt. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then number three was um, building your emergency fund. This is going, and you got to have three to six months of what? your bills are so you can survive so you're looking at you know any whatever your your life is yeah, so you need say, three to six months That's say good. your monthly bills are four thousand dollars a month you need to have twelve thousand dollars at least saved up now this is where people get a little nervous in the beginning they go my god that's gonna be years down the road that'll be too long like how do you save up six months but once you get rid of all that debt money it's starts easy. it starts coming faster so you build up your emergency your emergency fund a lot more yeah those are the three main ones and then the rest are college funds the rest are you know saving for investment give uh retirement 15 percent in retirement uh in different mutual funds and um and uh and there's another one investment yeah i don't know i am losing a, a train of thought it might pop in my head but there is another one so when you say when you say pay off your cheapest one first yeah you're not saying don't make those other payments no you make all of them but you make the minimum you make the minimum on the other ones and yep. you put as much as you can on the cheapest one that's and correct you, okay and then and then because when once he goes that why do we even need the book well that's what I that's you probably don't but the, with the <laughs> investing and I and you know I the, the, the envelope yeah. system you know he's teaching you to never pay for you don't have to have a car loan anymore. He that goes, that's the awesome. biggest crack of Without crap winning ever. the lottery? <laughs> right. He goes, that's a lot of people's uh, retirement, too. A ton. Yeah, I heard, I read an article where it was like uh, two-fifths or something like that, two-fifths of people's retirement plan, or even more. It was like 40%, 50% of people's retirement plan says lottery. Mm -hmm. And that's insane to me because I think the lottery is like a dream. Like, I'll buy a ticket whenever it gets over $300 million because why the hell not? Right. Um, But I'm still throwing stuff into a 401k and trying to right. save as much money Which as possible. Great. Um somebody said math doesn't work out. It's a mental thing. Always pay off the highest interest rate. Now you can do that too. That you, is a thing, but he does this because people will give up. They give up on this striving it's a small, to get debt free. Goals. So once you pay off that I'm going way back. I'm going to date myself. Your Sears Robot credit card. Hell yeah. You go, "Whoa." I just paid off a fifteen hundred dollars in was said months. Yeah, in like Holy three cow, months. Let's keep of, going. Let's do another one. Yep. You know what I mean? And then you just roll that over. That's the biggest issue that I think oh. I had for a while. And and by the way, credit cards. You do not need them. People are saying he says this a lot. They you don't. You get rid of that. You get you do not need those things. Yeah. You don't even need them to build credit because he can teach you ways on how to do it where you don't need to build credit. Also, here's a great thing. Once you, I was never ever taught this. Okay. My parents were really bad and didn't make any money, so I didn't understand this. My wife's parents, the same thing. So if I can educate myself on this and then educate my kids on this, and I'm saying this talking with everyone, yeah. wouldn't that be a great thing so your kids know and like can understand, understand money better? Because your money, man, listen, you're, the money that you have, you don't have to be rich. Just The money that you have, if you're very smart, with what you do with what you make, you yeah. can be financially better than people that make a ton more than you. Yeah. A ton more. And don't let don't work for your money. Make your money work for you. That's why you gotta write get in these investments and mutual funds and all that. And mm -hmm. and, and and he and he teaches all this. And again, I I I I've went through it and I paid off an S ton of debt. And mm -hmm. we're going back through it now, not really paying off debt. We were doing the car thing, but we're going back on it just to get back on it. Get to that get, emergency get, fund get, built well, up a little bit. Well, just to get that, yeah, we need a little bit more in that. And just to get... Because that just does to get seem fine. impossible. To a, person does. Like, to a person like me, who's who's not the worst with money, but also not the best. I don't have a lot in my savings. Um, to hear you say, like, you should have six months saved up of all three, your bills. Three to six. Three to six months. To me, that seems impossible. That mm. seems like I would need to win the lottery first, bank that money, blow my lottery money, and now I have an emergency fund. <laughs> Doesn't it? Like, it, it does, seems, it seems impossible. But, uh, but once you get the debt paid off, it, it's start, so you start, it starts coming quickly. And then when you have it, yeah. however long it takes, it doesn't matter if it took five years. Mm -hmm. When people call in that five-year period... 
They say the same thing and how daunting it was. Yeah. But they go, my God, I'm so happy I did this, and I feel so much more secure of where I am right now. Yeah. Like, I think we're, I think we're probably going to start a more stricter budget, because we're on a budget now where we do have some extra money a month sure. that we throw into savings or we have fun with. Um, but we, I think we're going to start that after we get back from Mexico. Yeah. Probably, probably a good start. You don't want to start it and then fail right away. You know what That's I mean? That's like, I, it's like, oh, we're on a strict budget now. Let me pull five hundred dollars out Here, so we can go a, to Mexico uh, for five days. The biggest, the one of the biggest tips I can give you on this is you. And I'm not saying both of you are not, but I'm just talking about anybody listening on this. Is you both, your your wife and you have to be ready oh, yeah. to go on this. You know what I mean? And again, not just you. I'm just yeah. saying anybody. Because if you got one person that's doing it, one that's not, yeah. it is pointless. It's, yeah, it's impossible. But anyway, any, we're just talking about if you're in a financial mess. Um, for me, anyway, I was suggesting uh, Dave Ramsey because I he's changed our life and he's changed and he continues doing it. Yeah, is he uh, is he hot? No, he's an older guy. I like what he says. He goes, he goes. Uh, my, becoming a millionaire is easy. I've done it twice oh. because he's <laughs> went broke. <laughs> um, oh boy, he just really. I just like it too because when he when he when you listen to his podcast, he just. He just calls people out, and you'll be like, wait, why? Why would you buy that? Or I'm sorry, are you stupid? I don't get why you would do that. It's just funny. Yeah, that, like I said, it's all common sense. I mean, it literally is common sense. Don't buy things that you don't have money for. That's an easy word. Hey, like, that's the best advice. Hard. Like, if you don't have money, it's hard, man. don't go buy that thing our, you our want. Biggest, our biggest complaint for me and my financial woos uh, was restaurants. Angie and I were awful at it. Yeah. We love going out to eat and having a couple drinks. You gotta move to my area. There's no place to eat. That's in my what area. I need. Friends too. We got friends, yeah. and and that sucked. It was so easy to to do this. You don't have any friends because nobody hangs out. Yeah, it's, nobody, it's, you it's don't very go sad. It's a sad thing. But um, hey, how do you want to go about doing this now? Because this was, was this, I'm trying to figure this out in my head. We're supposed to play two sets of commercials, and I know we're really if I would say play just, tape from Jake and Tanner, play two sets of commercials, and be done. All right, let's do that. That's a great idea. Let me get it. Do I get to read anything, Tanner? Could you read that really quick while you I don't get have this? To yeah. read that? Visit North it's at seven. Just try it. That's okay. Visit visit North Star Mohegan Casino Resorts for amazing cash and prize giveaways and world class entertainment. For events and info, visit NorthStarCasinoResort.com. So, what happened yesterday on Take from Jake and Tanner? Did Tanner lose? How much are we going to play for today when we play the Sydney edition at 810? Let's find out right now. Hi, who is this? My name is Andy. Oh, that's pretty. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. That's my, Andy. That's my new thing, by the way. An- oh, Andy. <laughs> Just saying, okay. saying it's pretty. No, I think your name's pretty. It's a pretty name, Andy. Andy, uh, what would you say is a deal breaker in relationships? I like that. Um, I would say anytime somebody smells bad. Mm, that's not bad. Body odor. Good one. Hey, five questions, uh, Andy. you got to answer. Try doing your best. Remember, if you get stuck, you can pass. Time willing, we'll get back to that question. Guess what? Tanner's out of the room. He yep. can't hear you. Leave him now. You can't hear none of the answers, questions. You could come back in the room, get asked the same ones. If, uh, if he wins $60 tomorrow, Sydney edition on our Friday edition. Big thanks to Prospera Credit Union with Life Stage Personal Guidance. If you win, you're going to get $40 today. Sounds great. Here we go, Andy. In three, two, one. What is the name of for a triangle with two equal sides? Right triangle. What was the last album recorded by the Beatles? I'm going to guess the White Album. The city of St. Louis is located in which state? The city of St. Louis is located in Missouri. What is the name of the bartender in the Billy Joel song, Piano Man? I'll pass. What is the Sixth Commandment? Wow, that's tough to say. Um, I'm going to guess, um... Do not covet thy neighbor's wife. What is the name of the bartender in the Billy Joel song, Piano Man? I'm going to guess Jimmy. I have no idea. Hang on. Tanner! 
Hang on real quick. We'll go through these here in no just problem. a second. No food out there? No. I was looking for somebody to complain about that. Yeah. The lack of food this year it's bad. is bad. It's getting a, a terrible. Here we go. Have some cheeses. No, they're open bag. Did you eat them? Nothing yeah, happened yeah. to you? Good. You want to well, share some of my bag, check bag of tuna? Of no. A three, a two, a one. Hey, what is the name for a triangle with two equal sides? Uh, pass. What is the last album recorded by the Beatles? The White Album. The city of St. Louis is located in which state? Missouri. What is the name of the bartender in the Billy Joel song Piano Man? I don't know. I don't know that. What is the sixth commandment? Thou shalt not worship any false idols. What is the name for a triangle with two equal sides? An isosceles triangle. Hi, Andy. Welcome back. I don't Hi. think I did well. Yep. I don't think I did well either. Oh, thank <laughs> God, Andy. You're both cracked. <laughs> <laughs> That's one point Yay! each. Yay, we finally got a point, Andy! <laughs> what is the name of That's... the triangle with two equal sides? He's right. I'm wrong. <laughs> what did he, what did Tanner say? Because I cannot I but forgot I already how to Yes, that's it. <laughs> I forgot isosceles. already how to pronounce that, yeah. Uh, you are correct, Tanner. He said right triangle. That's yeah, one right. zero. Uh, what is the last album recorded by the Beatles? Andy said white album. Tanner said white album. It is Abbey Road. Dang it! The city of St. Louis located in which state? Andy said Missouri. Missouri. Tanner said Missouri. Missouri is correct. Missouri. Two zero. Uh, what is the name of the bartender two in the or two one? Sorry, no. Yep. Is it? Yeah, 2 1. Yeah, yeah, he's winning. Uh, what is the name of the bartender of the Billy Joel song Piano Man? And he said Jimmy. Tanner said, I don't know. It's John. Oh, close. And what is the sixth commandment? And he said, Don't hook up with your neighbor's woman. Oh. Tanner, what did you say? Uh, don't uh, worship any false idols. It is Thou Shall Not Kill. Dang it! Oh. Sorry, I Andy. Win! Tanner won that. That's a okay. $60. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. $60. Uh, we're going to play for tomorrow at 810 when we play Take from Jake and Tanner. Big thanks to Prospera Credit Union. That is going to be a Sydney edition. I can remember to make trivia too. And by the way, I did remember. I did did remember. you? I did. How much uh, was it? I never listened to the very end. 60 are you playing for sitting here? You're playing for $60 today. Okay. $60 today when we play uh, Sydney edition at 810. Uh, on the way, we're going to do our Planet Fitness check-ins. Pretty much means Tanner's got to do something because he lost a bet. And we're going to give away $500 from Planet Fitness next.
algorithm i was trying to think that you could post something on facebook and then you know back in the old days where you just post it and that's what it was when it was it didn't go back through people's feed do you remember that yeah it Wait, still should you? be like that it is i thought they randomly i gotta get tanner no, in here i think tanner jay and tanner I know show that's how instagram works how it like the newest goes to the bottom Hey, did it, back in the day with Facebook, did it work where when you put there was no a, a, algorithm there, you just post and then it would get buried, right? Like it wouldn't. Yes, like, it was all live. Yeah. So like if we post something now, sometimes people are not going to see it. Yeah, for a day or two. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was thinking. So <laughs> you, I goes, it doesn't matter if you post something. You can like, post like, it because I was like saying, hey, say that Planet Fitness thing because we're getting ready to do that. But it, does that matter? It, depends if, if they go to our our wall if they go to our wall yes yeah. it sometimes will that's why a lot of shows and stuff recommend twitter yeah because twitter is still live like as it right, happens yeah. feeds. so really you should be following us on twitter uh at jake and tanner and we hey, can start doing stuff on both i uh, uh my name is jake i'm one of the hosts of the show and do you <laughs> do you want to know why i'm so excited today not why? only because it's friday but Friday? I get to go home and drink Bud Light Seltzer. I'm not kidding. Oh. I'm actually, if Jennifer didn't give me more of it, oh, I'm yeah. she, me and her are going to go back and forth. Because I am. I thought about that this morning. I'm like, oh, I'm thirsty. And one of those sound amazing. Yeah. Well, um, I'm excited because I still have my, my two cans left. And I'm going to go home tonight. I'm going to sit down with the wife. I haven't seen her in like two days. I haven't seen my kid in two days. And, right. I, and that's what I... I haven't seen my kid or my wife in two days. And I'm thinking more about Bud Light Seltzer than I am them. I told um, my uh, buddy came over. I don't know if I'm supposed to give it to other people. But he tried it early too. And he wants it now. And he wanted to know if they are available. By the way, January 13th, you're going to be able to get these. He only has to wait three days. That's what I said. I said, why don't yeah. you calm down? Oh. He's like, that's easy for you to say. You got seven more. Yeah, my Dave was like, can I have one? And I was like, it's illegal. Yeah. I was like, it's you literally illegal. Him. I was like, You're I can't give you It's an even no basis. Actually, like, don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. You do like the men in black thing. Yep. Um. Let's not get right into this. Or do you want to get right into it? We can't. I'm going to start mixing. Okay, Tan Tanner lost a bet we'll for uh, well, actually, let's just get right into it. Tanner lost on Mondays. We set up a bet through Planet Fitness, mm -hmm. and we set our own goals. Not really against each other; yep. they're against ourselves. And if we lose that goal on Thursday, your check-in is kind of Thursday or Friday, depending on what your goal is. Yep. And if you lose it, you got to perform the bet that was issued on Monday. Yep. Now, if Tanner and I both succeed our bets, then Sydney is the one that has to um, has to go about doing the whatever, payoff. the payoff. Now, my bet was to lose two pounds. And? I sent a picture to Sid on Monday. What was it on Monday? Um, on to, Monday. She's got, I just sent it to her, taking a picture. So it's out of my phone, so yep. it doesn't look like it's not me lying. I actually have proof. Yep. On Monday, you were 174.8. 174.8. Now, on Thursday, yesterday, to do, the, to do it on the same scale and everything. Yep. 172.8. Exactly oh, two pounds. I should have gave you, like, water <laughs> or something. I should have filled you up more. I couldn't believe that. So, mine passed. Yep. I don't have to do this bet. Tanner. Uh, my bet. On Monday was go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> just go. I just need to go. And you know what? Some people laugh, but that's a first step I'm not in laughing. a healthier lifestyle. So what uh, what how many days did you go? None. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even try? I think on Monday you tried, but you what just drove tried? around. I tried. Monday I woke up at one o'clock in the morning. I sat on TikTok until three thirty and I was like, I guess I'll leave for sure. work. And then I brought my workout stuff yesterday. I was like, you're gonna have all day. Just go to the gym. Do whatever you want. What did I do instead? Yeah, what did you do? I went and got lunch, and then I went and I bought a TV, uh -huh. which, by the way, worst thing happened to me yesterday. Worst. You broke it. No, I didn't break it. Um, I had to go twosies. 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I'll stop. Caca? Yeah, I had to make caca. And I was like, well, you got to go to you, Walgreens. You went and made a boom boom? I I was like, I'll go make a boom boom at Walgreens uh, when mm-hmm. I buy the thicket. Because my bet payoff is I have to drink a glass of thick water. This is something that thickens up any liquid. It helps with older people with swallowing or people that have swallowing issues. The big time TikTok thing. Big it's a big time, time TikTok, TikTok challenge. Uh, TikTok thing right now. So Are you I was doing like, that beast? I didn't, I didn't put it in. I was going to ask you, do you want nectar, honey, or pudding? <laughs> Oh, you get to choose this. Yeah. What depending. is the what sounds the worst? Pudding. Pudding. I would have to eat water with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, let's but do some pudding. You want pudding? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, we could make a TikTok of this. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Hold on, tell me. Yeah, like TikTok that I'll for do, a second. I'll wait, do, can I see your phone? I, do, I can't uh, TikTok on mine. I'll do put. I'll do um. Honey first. Mm, this is. Let me see this really quick. It let's what's happening. I to me, I don't think this would be bad. Like, I don't think your bet payoff. I don't think this is worth it. Already see it getting big. You don't think this is going to be bad? I don't. <laughs> Dude, this, the texture of this is going to be so weird because it's not going to taste like anything. What are you gonna... doing? You need Sorry. more than that. You got to put another spoonful in there. That's still water. Yeah, that's still water. I got to keep stirring. Hey, by the way, did, is this this girl's name that we're going to give away, the $500? Yes, it's her name. Planet Fitness, is. we're also giving away $500 weekly with Planet Fitness. Now, to do yeah, this, all this you got to do is go into, uh, go into a Planet Fitness, that eight locations around here, and just say, I need that Jake and Tanner keyword, get it, text it to 71090, and we do this weekly. Four scoops. Spoiler, it is a girl, because I think I said that. Yep. We're going to call this girl. A girl did win this. You're in f- your four scoops oh, now. It's getting thick. Doesn't look it. I want it to where the spoon is hard to move. You're doing a lot of sloshing over there. I like this ASMR. I don't think I think it could go a little more. I think it could it's too. Not, it's not. Oh God, I mean, it's not. It's not dissolving. <laughs> Did you get cold water? Because yeah. My legs didn't my, usually uh, want to dissolve in cold water. My my father-in-law would do this. He had a stroke, and two days later, I mean, the day he got released from the hospital, they said, you got to go get thicket because you, you can't swallow anything. And so he went, oh. and he did it for his beer. Yeah, I think you're going to be able to do that. I think you're going to be able to do that pretty... I think it needs to be just a tad thicker. thicker? Yeah, that's just yeah. like a shake right now. Yeah, right. But it... I mean that's not it's a, that's not, not dissolving a, enough. You gotta you gotta do some like do go. You gotta do this while you're naked or something <laughs> by by Walmart. And Tanner's bet was to show up to the gym. Yeah, just to show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, FYI. This is, really it, this is getting hard to stir. Just so you, you know, it thickens as it sits. So be careful. That's what somebody just texted. Ooh. Is that better? I can't really tell. Stir it. Are you getting a little... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is what you're going to have to do. You're going you're gonna to down this whole thing. The whole... I'm going to choke! You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, stir this, Sid. Feel this. Just... Is that good? Or do you want... Should it be more? I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's going to be hard to drink. I, I said you should have thickened up chicken noodle soup. Oh, I hate soup. Yeah, All right. thinking now about you gotta... water. Hold on, hold it's on. It's so cloud. Let's. This doesn't look like water.
I feel, I feel like You gotta have a glass laugh! <laughs> it's so thick! <laughs> uh. Come on, you got <laughs> uh. Alright, you gotta you gotta It's still like in my mustache. It's so thick. <laughs> you, so happy you, you got a garbage. You can't fail this one also. <laughs> Never again do I want water. Oh my god. That is not- it tastes like water? <laughs> I think we off. should all do it. Can you zoom up right on his left eye? It looks like it's coming out. <laughs> I think we should all do this. Really? Yes. Because I feel like I could do it. You think you, make you want me, me one right, make, make me one right now. I okay. just don't know what that's gonna do to my bowel movements. And It'll I'm, be fine. It's I just, really it's just water, so. right? Sydney, can you go? Wait, let me let me see the back of this. I don't know if I can have this on my whole thirty. It has nothing. It has five calories. It's just sodium and potassium. Angie, can I have one, and, and Angie, one I, gram of carb? Can I Wait, have that, Angie? The thing is, potassium backs you up. Ugh. That's something I've been told. Never done any further research Look at that. on. Look at go, that. I mean, Sid, go get two glasses right now. Ugh. Go get two glasses out of there. They fill yep. them up with water. Yeah, yeah. Go fill up two glasses of water. Ugh. I didn't feel like I could pass that. I really it's, do. I didn't think I, I'm not usually a puker, but I did. Dude, it's messed up. It's a weird thing. Does that listen to me really quick before I before I do this? Is this gonna mess up my bowels like no, Sydney just no, said? No, because if this had major repercussions on your bowels, then they wouldn't give it to the elderly. Yeah, that's true. But are the elder? <laughs> Dude. And by the way, we're on TikTok. Go find it. We just put a new video up there. We're taking over TikTok. Um, hold on. I want to read some of this. Maybe take the garbage out yourself. <laughs> yourself. Potassium's oh, yeah. good for your heart. Questionable Kevin wants to do it. I feel like Questionable Kevin would do pretty much anything. Yeah. Yeah. We. It, I've seen Kevin take off all of his clothes and roll around in the mud. <laughs> That's good. Oh, those aren't very full at all. Well, ours is... We didn't lose a bat. <laughs> I'm going to just call Angie to see what she says on... Oh, you're doing it's for it. nourishment. We'll thicken those things right up. Hey, Angie. Hello. Hey, can I have this Hi. on the Whole30? I can have some potassium, right? That's in a banana. Yes. And sodium. Yeah. yeah, that's like... Okay, don't act like I'm an idiot. I have no idea what can I eat on this Whole30. Where does the one gram of crap come from? Which, is it sugar? Is it yeah? No, it doesn't say sugar. There's no sugar. By the way, can you hear how not energy, no energy my wife has? Yeah. That's where I am today. Welcome to the whole thirty. It never gets better, apparently. Next week, it'll be better. Next week, we're gonna feel amazing. Hey, do you think I would be able to handle this thicket? You mean, do you think you can have it on whole thirty? No, 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 no. Like, like my just personality. Do you think I'm gonna do okay? We're going to have to have to drink it at separate times in case we puke. You have a weird texture thing, so I don't... That is true. Like, you get weird with certain textures. Well, you do sound like you're dead to the world, Angie. You've been up for like... You've been up for like three hours. Man, Whole30, welcome to it. Everybody should do it. It's fun. Um, I hope next week gets better on this whole 30 because like we have zero energy right now It's because I'm eating just turkey and peppers. The bread is where the, the where the peppers are is where spo bread's supposed to be. <clears throat> Bell pepper sandwich. Bell yeah. pepper sandwich. Oh, that doesn't sound bad. I'm going to make some. Yeah, but after a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye. Okay. Love you. Bye. I really don't know if she does.
Today I don't. It doesn't sound like it. Didn't sound too excited. This one person said that one cup of it won't do anything to my bowel system. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about. It. You should worry about my whole thirty more. No, it's like I have more issues than most people. Tanner, where are we at on this? Almost done. Wait, why are you making ours as thick as yours? Are you, are you stirring? Are you stirring both of our yeah. both of them? Okay, very nice. I really didn't lose anything. I didn't either. I actually did well on this. I lost no, my two you pounds. Lost the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> but still, in four days, it's not bad. It's two pounds every two days. I can do math. Sorry, I'm just trying to stall while we stir this. It's so icky. By the that way, is, in, in that looks no, thicker than yours. No, this is the same thickness. Hey, do you think you could do this with Bud Light seltzer? Yes. Yeah. And just thicken, Wait, <laughs> thicken that it's up. fizzy. And sometimes when I add my laxatives to fizzy things, crazy things happen, man. Here you guys go. We on Facebook Live yet? Yeah. Uh, oh, right. we're we're doing this. Okay, Facebook here we go. Okay. Uh, Jake, right, wait, you have to do this too. You have to drink it. I don't want you to do your stupid sip. Yeah, no, you got to drink it all. It's only you like can't, a you shot. Can't do your, your I can't Sydney drink a shot. Just I sip take shots. Take the whole load. Uh, <laughs> oh, why'd you have to make it sound like that? Really don't like that. Do it. <laughs> oh, it's wait, where's sticky. the garbage? Okay, here we go. It's by. Uh, do you want to do this one at a time? Do you want to do this? I just say we both. Okay, because we're already late. Three, two, one, chug. It's not even moving in the cup. Yeah! Take the garbage. <laughs> Take it. Drink it, Sydney. Drink it. I, do, I can't. Drink it. It's it's impossible. Drink it. <coughs> oh man. Yeah, that's I not could fun, see, is it? Okay. It doesn't I, taste I, like water. Nope. It tastes like sludge. Um, yeah, I it think, has no flavor, but it's not water. I think if, I think if you sip this, you would be okay. Yeah, I think when you're trying to chug it, it's really bad. It gets, it's rough. I can't even like chug a shot. Like I can't do that. Do it. I just chug. Drink the it. rest. No. Yeah. <laughs> this fuck on her mouth. My God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One time I was, you know I what? If I, I could probably. A... If I, I get to a point, it, yeah. but I don't want to. If I get to a point in my elderliness, hey, you think if we just add this to straight oh. alcohol, we could make Jello shots? Here, you, got, you, got a, you have a spoon <laughs> over there. Uh, yeah, it's in here. Okay, I want to see this if it changes because somebody said to do this. Here, Sid. Mm -hmm. Let me see yours. They said I have to spoon it to you because that's how they usually do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just do to me. Oh God. Oh yeah, I'm bringing thick it to Mexico. <laughs> Everybody's yes. doing a thick shot. <laughs> that is so fun. Let's, let's create a shot. Yeah, I like and we'll that. call it our thick boy shot. <laughs> I have to sit on thick it. Oh God. Coconut right. milk right. and Kahlua. Right. Right. Oh, we gotta go. Hey, do I got something to say? Uh, we got really, people to call. Uh, we do. And we're going to do that next. We're going to do that in the next segment. We're giving away five hundred dollars with Planet Fitness, and we will do it next with the Jake and Tanner show.
Visit North Star Mohican Casino Resort for amazing cash and prize giveaways and world-class entertainment. For events and info, visit NorthStarCasinoResort.com. It's the Jake and Tanner Show. We're going to be calling here in a minute someone that uh, won the Planet Fitness $500. <laughs> Did you want, to, you want to hear one of the most... Most inappropriate basketball calls you'll ever hear. Yes. I think this is like, I don't know, maybe a high school game. The video, it happened last fall, but the video is going viral now. Two announcers are calling, yeah, it's a high school basketball game, when one of them mentions his dog was run over by a car and died. And the other announcer compares it to a play in the game. Oh, my God. Well, and then there's one more, the, there's yes, one more yes. gone but not forgotten. And that's uh, our sweet days, or our sweet Lucy. Uh, at the age of 12, she was run over oh, yes. in our driveway. Oh, oh, like that? Was she run over like... <laughs> well, and then... <laughs> oh. Because the guy stayed... It's <laughs> here again. There's one more, the... gone. Yes. One more yes. gone, but not forgotten. And that's uh, our sweet days, or our sweet Lucy. Uh, at the age of 12, she was run over oh, yes. in our driveway. Oh, oh, like that? Was she run over like... <laughs> Uh, by the way, did you know? Oh did you God. know uh, Sean Wayne's is up in this building? Yeah, Sean. Sean and Marlon. No, Marlon Wayne's. Uh, Sean Wayne's is here. Oh, Sean is here. Yes. Sean is so beautiful. He is. Both it's of them me. are. I always wanted his hair. I remember watching him on the Wayne's Brothers years ago, and I always wanted to do that to my hair, but I, obviously I can't. <laughs> but I always liked it. I remember my wife having the biggest crush. I should tell him. I thought it was Marlon. No, it's Sean. I thought it was Marlon, and I was thinking, well, he was in G.I. Joe. Marlon was. I need to tell him my wife had the biggest crush on him. Oh, I yeah. I did, too. I, yeah, Can you pull who, up pull up Sean? I, I'm I, looking I, at pictures of him right now. Sean Wayne's is beautiful. What the, What is that guy doing now? He's, I mean, I mean, he obviously, stand up. he's just doing stand. I mean, I, I think he's so. at, he's at a. Uh, he's probably a producer. Too. I mean, he's at, why he's in Appleton, though. Yeah, he's at um, the Skyline Comedy yeah, Club. Yeah, Skyline Comedy Club. Here's Sean Wayne. There he is. Oh, he's just a beautiful man. He is. God, it would do, what is it? What does it got to feel like to be with, around all those successful? Bro- Your whole family's successful. Yeah. Did it just ha- be that I pretty. Know, did it just happen? Was it that easy? I wish I was that pretty. It must be easy. Well, no, it can't be easy. It must be really hard. He tried. He worked really hard. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. But I guess just being around it, you just are going to go do that, though. You know, and yeah. you got, and I mean, he probably has a little help from uh, people. I would yeah. say getting into it, knowing people. He was in White Chicks, uh, Wayne's Brothers show for four years, uh, Little Man, Don't. Be a Menace, Scary Movie, Scary Movie 2, Scary Movie 3, Scary Movie 4, Dance Flick and Living Color for four years, Boo Crew, New Blood, Wayne Head, MacGyver. MacGyver? He was in MacGyver? Are you talking about like the TV show? Yes! <laughs> he was? I guess. Nice. Good for him. Have you seen lately? Have you seen what MacGyver looks like? Richard Dean Anderson? No. Wait, is that him? Can you Maybe? look up? Can you look up uh, what MacGyver looks like today? He's different. I mean, he's not MacGyver. Richard Dean Anderson. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's MacGyver. That's him back in the day in the '80s. Handsome man. Yeah. Richard Dean Anderson, 2019. Man, was this a big TV show? Wasn't he? This was the show where he just made random. Though he's different. He's not getting himself. Uh, the only. Oh God. I think it's coming back up. The only sticky situations he's getting out of is some cinnamon buns. I mean, you can't fault him for getting older, but he, he definitely hashtag my, not my MacGyver, what yeah. I'm used to. Yeah, I need to talk to you about something. This is MacGyver <laughs> theme, by the way. I need to talk to you about, some, um, about something. Okay. Did you know? Oh, we're not going to have time. I'm not even going to get into it. I will tell you this. Did you know last year there was a chaos when the world found out that Mark Paul Gosler wasn't involved with Saved by the Bell, the revival? Yeah, I'm upset with that. I need you to relax. <gasps> Because it sounds like they just had to work it into a schedule. Yes! Which they have done. So he will appear in three episodes as his character, Zach Morris. I'm so excited. And he is going to be the governor of California. Mark I'm Paul is also serving as a producer on this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is good. This is good. I'm so happy now. But I don't want a new class. I just want to see their well, lives you, uh, together. I think well, I don't, I, I, to be honest, I don't. Oh yeah, this is about 
AC Slater and Jesse Spano having a kid. Yeah. And that's what that's about. By I don't the way, that. hey, listen, your girl, the rap says uh, Tiffany Thiessen is also talks to come back, but the deal has not been finalized yet. Please tell me her and Zach are still married. Did they get married? At, yes, they got at the married very at the end? end of college years. Uh, yeah. Do you remember the the episodes where they were at the beach with oh, Leah, Leah Remini? Leah Remini and, and her dad owned the resort. Yeah, that was a weird Those were weird. I loved the episodes where, we, where, where Zach would just slam it to some random, and then they, we would never talk about it again. <laughs> the weird one for me was when they brought in Tori. The the the, yeah. the the girl with the hat you have no I'm looking at Sydney jacket. like she knows what we're talking about but yeah the one with the leather jacket the one that fixed motorcycles yeah, and hashtag not my Jesse and and Kelly yeah because they both bounced right it was a contract dispute I think so they're just I love that because they're all their contracts they historically have said were garbage just absolute trash like we didn't get any residuals like they were bad contracts and i guess those two wanted a better one and they're just like screw you we'll just replace you with one girl you think that you two are better we'll just get one girl to do your part i really think mark paul gosler is not a bad he's not a bad looking guy he's not a bad actor i wish better for him i wish he could have gotten me too i i I wish quentin tarantino would have grabbed him for one of his movies you know what i mean instead instead of channing tatum instead of tatum and and uh the hateful eight yeah zach morris and they're not as the character but actually just mark paul gosler yeah in that in that movie instead of that speaking of which um did you did you hear that uh what's his name brad pitt What's his name, Brad Pitt? <laughs> you, you know Brad, right? Yeah, that guy? Yeah, That Brad. flash in the pan? God, I'm trying to find the story now. I, I don't know where, where the heck it went. Oh, here it is. Um, Brad Pitt <clears throat> was it won Best Supporting Actor Award once uh, once upon a time in, in Hollywood for another award. It wasn't, I don't think it was a Golden Globe or anything. It was like supporting, uh, I don't know exactly where. It's got to be tough having a life like that. Now he just goes around and just accepts awards. That's yeah. what he does for the next couple of months at different places. Yeah, that what a weird time. And uh, anyway, so Bradley Cooper is presenting him with the award, and I didn't realize that Brad helped him with his sobriety. I was there. Yeah, I was there. Helped, that, so. oh, sorry, <laughs> Cooper helped Pitt because okay. apparently Bradley Cooper has not drank since 29 years old. He saw he was very hooked on it. Yep. And he saw that it was getting away of his career. So okay. he completely went sober with everything. And let's be honest, it helped probably a ton because Bradley Cooper yeah. is now a, a pretty big deal. Yeah, he is. And I guess he helped out Mr. Pitt. I was there. I was there for that song. Thank you, Bradley. Bradley just put his daughter to bed and rushed over here to do this. He's, he's oh. a sweetheart. I got sober because of this guy. And every day has been happier ever since. I'm I'm working on things. FYI, Brad said since out of college, he doesn't know if there was a day that went by that he didn't do something, some kind of drug. Oh, really? Yeah, and then he was not. Does he still smoke weed, though? uh, I think he's given up everything. Now, Hey, with that being said, I don't know. When did he, when did Brad, do we have a timeline? Like when Bradley, or how long has he been sober? No. Brad, Brad stopped when all the, the hoopla went on with the, the, the kids. When Angeline and him were going through that divorce, that's when he completely quit drinking. Oh, okay. He said, I had taken things as far as I could take it. So I, rem- I removed my drinking privileges. I can't remember a day since I got out of college where I wasn't boozing or having something. Truthfully, I could drink a Russian under the table with his own vodka. I was a professional. I was very, very good at it. Um, so anyway, that's what he goes on to say. When the point when he started pushing his kid, I think that's what it was when I was playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he had a major drinking issue. Yeah, he was not He was getting too good at it. FYI, just goes to show you, you can be extremely successful with a drinking issue. You just don't, I don't want to say that, but no. Um, we need to call. We need to call Anna. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I said her name. Oh, well. So if your name's not Anna. Oopsie doopsie poopsie. <laughs> Giving away $500 for Planet Fitness. All you got to do is, if you want to be like this Anna we're going to be calling. She has no idea we're calling. Does she? You didn't email her or anything, did you, Sid? 
I wasn't supposed to. Oh well, no, I just didn't know you. Okay. Just go into a Planet Fitness and get their get the Jake and Tanner keyword and text it to seven ten ninety. We do this weekly. Hi, you reached Anna Raby. Nobody ever answers the first time. I am so excited to go to Mexico just because I'm off the plant or a whole thirty. Then <laughs> you you're so worried for me. You think I'm going to ruin my body? I think you're going <laughs> to die in Mexico. I honestly all believe the grease. that the first two days of Mexico, you're going to be in a toilet. Because you're going to be eating burgers and drinking no, drinks. No, 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 no. That's not. I will be in the pool. Hi, you reached in. No, no, she just sent us right there. So if that Please happens, it's, it's definitely a brief message at the and pool. I'll get back to you oh, no. Thank I'm you. I'm telling you, I'm not going to ruin my vacation. because Anna, hi, Jake and Tanner. Why don't you answer your phone? We wanted to give you things and stuff. Oh, she could be at work. Some people work. I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't not this early. Either. No. Nope. Hey, $500 we want to give you. Through Planet Fitness. Thanks to Planet Fitness on this, okay? So you got to give us a call. you got to talk to Sydney, and she's going to give you the information that you need. Yeah, you went to Planet Fitness. You got the keyword. You texted it into 71090, and look at this. 500 bucks. Just like that. You can just be, you, uh, thank you, Anna. Give us a call back, and we'll get, you out, we'll get, we'll get this out to you. Um, you. Again, you want to be like Anna, do that. Get the keyword. Text it to 71090. Um, Somebody said she just got on a plane to Jamaica. What? What? She ain't need five hundred dollars. Yeah, no kidding. Never mind. Thanks, Anna, for donating five hundred dollars to the Jake and Tanner show. Hey, by the way, why is everyone laughing at the Sharon Osbourne's horrible story and how horrible of a person she is? Oh yeah, I need to hear this. We'll talk about it. We'll hear it next.
I'll be honest. Do I not like coming home anymore? Not because I don't love my family. Love them a lot. But right now, it's all turning our cabinets white. And the way our process works with this, this is the way we are doing it. There's a lot of steps. And one of those steps include having all the cabinets down in the basement. Yep. And you paint one side, and then you flip it over. You got to wait for it to dry. Yeah. And then you flip it over, and then you paint the other side. So you got it. It's the the drying. But my wife just texted me today, and just she just texted us, and she's like, "I'm so overwhelmed right now." She's like, "I got it." Fridays is when she deep cleans the house usually. Yeah. Um. So she she says, "What do I mean? Am I do what? I got to paint. I got to do. What am I going to do?" She's like, "Everything's a mess in the kitchen." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "It's just hey, slow your roll and get it done before You'll I get home." That's what I said. <laughs> No, and she goes, I just said, well, you know what? My idea is this. She's got a grocery. She wants to go grocery shopping, too. You go do that. I'll let let, let daddy stay home and paint. Yeah, then I don't me, have to go into town. Let me I'm take like care that. of you. I'll take care of you now. Do you not have a grocery store in Fredonia? I think I've asked you this before. We do did. Have, we did. And they did? They, we did. Right when we started moving there, the thing was shutting down. Oh. And to be honest, those are, you got to pay a little more for the convenience. Yeah, but I mean, it's when you need something, it's right there. That's the night. That's why. That's what my dad always said on why he always still goes to the pig, and why we do too. Kind of. He's like, because one day, uh, if everybody in town decides that it's cheaper to go to Green Bay or Marinette to tr- get groceries, then the pig's not going to be there. And at seven thirty at night, when right. you need some eggs, no, I get it. It's not going to be there. They still sell. A, can you rent movies there? Yes, we, we have a, we got a red box. Oh, but then you can't go inside and get a little tag. Oh yeah, we up until like two years ago. That's really? what it was. Oh yeah, you can still buy DVDs at the dollar store. We have a dollar hey, wait, store. Wait, wait, can I talk to somebody that's working in family video? Act, please, I want to know. Can you call the show if you are in a career that's dying? Because I was just talking to you about this a yeah. couple days ago. I go. I have never felt in the last couple years that we are. If you tell. A younger generation mm-hmm. of what we do, yeah. I think they would they would be like, "Oh, that's old," because it seems anybody can be in a day become viral on TikTok yeah. and have more listeners or followers or whatever than we do. And we've been working at this career for so long that sucks and that's scary. Yes. I do think you said it too. I do think we're the last generation to do this type of radio. Yeah, I, I honestly believe that we are the the last generation. Hi, who's this? This is Anna. I just got a voicemail from oh, you guys. Oh, Anna, we're going to put you on hold. You won that $500 in the Planet Fitness. Either call us back when we're on on our, on our commercial or uh, or stay on hold. So I am on a plane right now to Jamaica. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll tell this. We'll tell this to, um, well, you either got to be on hold. I got to I gotta let you go. <laughs> hang on, hang on yeah, real hit quick. Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Facebook. Okay. All right. See, that's what would be great if you're in your producer room once we have that. That window, it's getting there. Um... There's tape. What do you think is next for for, for radio? If you are in, if you are in a career that is going obsolete, how scary is that? A and B. What is it? Seven ten ninety and or you can call us eight six six nine one six zero nine five nine. By the way, Anna, she's on a plane. I was just going to pick her up. I did not mean to be rude on that. Yeah. I really, I really, really did not. Because mm-hmm. that is a big thing. And Planet Fitness is very excited. We're excited to give you that $500. Um, we just want to get all your information when we can. And we can always, we can always email and, her. Yeah, just happened to call at the beginning of a break. If it right. was the end of the break, it's a whole different story. Uh, for radio? I don't know, man. I, I, it's, um... Don't you feel that it's kind of in a weird archaic thing it's, that we talk into this mic and we only have this group of listeners when we live in a world that is you can massive. be anywhere at any time with, yeah. with this with your phone i'm saying it's weird that we talk into a mic and we only get to reach this many it's yeah it's getting easier and easier to not listen to our, the radio our competition yeah. is everywhere hi yes. who's this uh jeffrey Hi Jeffrey, that's pretty. What uh, what do you do? <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, uh, HVAC installation and service. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I, I think feel HVAC like you'll be is okay. Yeah, well, you're no, be... well, I guess no. There's a part of the industry that's dying. It's the uh, the oil industry, the oil burner systems. I have Everybody's oil burning propane, natural gas. So yeah. Oh the, wait, big companies that do oil for uh, burners and um, 
it's a dying breed. One by one, you guys are going out of business. So the people you're talking about, the people that are selling the oil are going out of business? Yeah. Yeah. Not the companies that make the equipment, but the companies that supply the oil are yeah, cause one by one. It's dropping off because everybody's going to propane and natural right. gas. Because they're not as efficient. I mean, they're just not. My, my father-in-law, who is 80, had an oil burner and he just switched over. And he doesn't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, ever. I, I have an oil. I Thanks, just filled man. it up. It's kind of nice because I paid 400 bucks to fill up my... Um, my oil tank, and then that'll just last me the whole winter. How much did that run, if you don't mind me asking? 400 bucks. Oh, did you say that? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was reading a text. And yeah, it was, I'm sorry, it was, I am taking interest. It was $400, so I was like, well, I only use heat nine months out of the year, so then you subtract, like you do the math, and it's like, okay, that's about the same. Somebody said vacuum stores. That's got to be something that's Wait, going there's on. Wait, there's a vacuum store? Yeah, they, yeah, like they will fix your vacuums. Wait, I'm sorry. That, I'm not those kidding. still exist? <laughs> what I, are you talking about? Just and, go buy a new vacuum. In Port Washington, I find it really weird that we had to call somebody to come over and fix our fridge. And Just he's and ones. he's like, man, we don't have any. He's like, we are nobody wants this career. He's like, you cannot find people that are coming in to fix refrigerators anymore. Because we'll just buy new ones. Yeah. Because they're kind of getting to the point. Things are getting cheap enough. Like uh, TV repairs. Yeah. I just bought a TV yesterday for $130. You just literally can throw the... Oh, I I got this for two years. I'll just go buy another one for a couple hundred bucks. I mean, because yeah. it's going to cost me, what, $100 to try to get this thing fixed? And then you got to sit and be like, no, screw this. I'm not setting up appointments. I'm just going to go buy a new TV. We're talking obsolete jobs. So if you're have, if you in the field where it's like, well, this is, this is not... Uh, this is going down. Yeah. We'd love to hear it. What What is it that you do? Hi, who's this? Yeah, because we we brought we bring this up because I do think we're going to be fine with radio. I think you we and will, I will yeah, be fine. We will be fine. I just and I think radio will still exist after this. I just don't know what where it's going to go. What kind of radio? What it's going to? What What are you going to do? Because again, I feel What's it, it feels like? really archaic if I were to tell somebody that we only talk to this many people when you can be worldwide with your phone. Yep. Why would you do? Tell me why. And like Joe Rogan said. Now again, he has a lot of money and he, he has popularity. With money and yeah, but, I mean, kind of in a way. Why do radio when you could go podcast in your your basement and do the exact same thing, but not have any people telling you how to do your? You are you because they write a paycheck. Like Joe, well, that's what that's I mean. But thing, he's saying Rogan, if you you know you can I, get sponsors and right. stuff like that, you can. But usually, when you run podcasts, it's not your only job for a long time. I use this. Hi, this is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Do you, do you work? Do you work somewhere that's uh, going obsolete? I do. I work at a bookstore. Ooh, yeah. Wait, are you talking like a Barnes and Noble, or are you like local? Uh, I won't say. You no, know, you don't have to. But I mean, are but you the, are you the big box store, or are you are you a smaller like mom and pop? Yeah, it's pretty popular. Okay. Oh, it is. Now, really, is that? I guess to be honest, if I go into a bookstore, I oh, love yeah, I yeah, love bookstores. Going top. It, it, I love bookstores, but my thing is, is I will go in there and I'll go. Oh, I'll get that on my Kindle. I'll go look. Yeah, but I will. I probably won't buy it. That's that. How many customers a day do you think you see? Okay, oh, bye. She's gone. Oh dang it! I she, really want to know too. that. She was she was nervous that she was going to, and she probably not saying that she said it, but I'm pretty sure she works for like a Barnes and Noble. Yeah, and she's saying it's pretty tough. Well, to be honest, like I said, I love bookstores. I love the feeling. I like I like the feel of a book. I like looking at them, but I will not pay eight. I can get it cheaper on the Kindle. Well, that's not a, only cheaper, but it's just easier. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Instead of bringing like on vacation, I'll pack like four books. Like right. t- going to Mexico, you're a big reader. Mm-hmm. Uh, people are packing these massive bo- amounts of books. Screw that when you can bring a I, Kindle and bring a 10,000 books. Bank uh, teller, someone said, that's a job that's going obsolete. I could see that. Really? I could see that. Not not like the, not the, like the loan advisor yeah. and stuff like that, but... What does Jim on demand do? He's like the, he's a manager. So like, he's, like he's Jim, doing like Jim, if you're listening, stuff. call really quick because I want to hear if you think that. Um, but bank tellers, they get very like they love just sitting there, and they want you to use your phone to deposit your checks. I always thought that was weird when um, oh, I'd call true. like I forget you do do that. Like when you uh, call a place, 
like a customer service and it says, just so you know, you could get all the answers you're right. looking for online. Be like, why are you trying to get rid of this phone service? I hate online. Stuff. Here, I'm gonna, this might be Jim. Hi, who's this? Hey, it's Jim. Hey, Jim, hey. do you, do you agree with that? Bank tellers becoming obsolete, that, that career? I would say no. Well, maybe in like 50, 60 years, but not anytime soon. But I don't know what technology is going to be, but we still have plenty of members coming in every day to do their transactions. So I feel like the supply and demand is still very much there. Jim, are you seeing even the youths coming in? Yeah, or is it mainly? Yeah. Oh, wow. No, okay. it's pretty much a mix of everybody. Oh. So you would think, yeah, a younger person would deposit their checks and do the most deposit and use a debit card, but we still see a wealth of different individuals coming in. Well, that's good. It's kind of like, I don't, is it around here? Because I know I've been some places, especially going through Chicago, we'd stop. Yeah. But um, McDonald's, you're just ordering your own stuff. I love those is that, McDonald's Is that around things. here at all? Yeah, they got them in Crivets. Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah I mean, and I work in a, in a smaller city. I don't work in, I used to work in Appleton, but now I work in Black Creek. And, you know, it's a small town mentality. It's kind of like Tanner said with the Piggly Wiggly. People come in and they enjoy the conversation. And, I mean, we have really nice numbers that come in and the employees enjoy to have the conversation with them as well. So I think it's just, you know, something that people enjoy to do. Yes, they could do everything online and scan the checks in and all that, but I think they just enjoy the conversation. Thanks, Jim. I Thanks, love you. Jim. Love you, guys. Hi, who's this? Hey, this is Alex. I was listening to your show about the doc, kind of the absolute jobs going obsolete. Sure. Yeah, I I actually work in print advertising, and that oh. is the print. You're are you yeah. you're probably calling to say that that's probably are not you, doing well. Are you looking for a job? I, <laughs> you want to get in out of one dying firearms. media and get into the next? <laughs> I'm in the firearms industry, so I work with Okay. Them. Hey, by the way, welcome to Radio Sydney. This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Putting all your Don't eggs worry, in this man. basket. You've got your whole life ahead of you to find a new career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Liar, no, you hitched your wagon to Jake and Tanner. Wonderful. Uh, Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Man, I remember talking when we went to Milwaukee. And we did that radio show for a minute. That was a whole printing industry, and everybody was just losing their jobs left and right. Yeah, yeah, that is scary. I think I think local TV will be fine. I think local radio I is going to have to do some major changing. Yeah, I man, radio scares me because of the competition with the technology that's coming into the cars. You that's know what I mean? Thing. You're going to be when self driving cars is a thing. People are watching Netflix now. That that is the issue. The issue is, is like before they said TV is the death of um, the death of uh, radio and like like when cassettes and eight tracks came out they're like that's the death of radio now people can pick their own music and radio is still here but all those things are not as convenient as this rectangle. You're this, he's talking his phone. This rectangle, my phone has everything, the entire world, every bit of information ever made is on this and you can do it when i get into my truck it starts playing my podcast i don't have to do anything it just starts playing it i i really think it's scary to say this and i don't mean this in a negative way if anybody like that's listening that's not doing a morning show especially on our side i think those are that's the that's the job that i think is that's scary because closest to being extinct because why do i need somebody to talk in between songs We'll just play the song. Spotify doesn't have that. Right. That's That That one is scary. I will say this, Slow. I do appreciate and have much gratitude for the market that we are in because I oh, have yeah. been in different markets with radio, and this is a weird, weird in a good way with uh, listeners. You find very, very loyal listeners to uh, for the radio yeah, and you, radio stations. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you guys definitely need to... Um Never stop listening, because otherwise we go homeless. Yeah, well, and we, I gotta eat re, my kid. Remember, yeah, <laughs> we you feed our kids, and we don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to eat our children. Um, do I got something to say here? Nope, nope, at all. All right, hey, listen, we're gonna try to give it away sixty dollars next with a take from Jake and Tanner. This is gonna be the Sydney edition when we get into the eight o'clock hour. It's the Jake and Tanner show.
Here it is. Would you, what? Talking about the, I, this music bed that I just hate. You should pull it in so I can see the number that it is. Like, stop it and then pull it in. KJT098. Never mind, that doesn't help. It's 100. Oh, uh, hit play just so I make sure it's the same one. Yeah. Rejoin okay. six. Okay. All right, let's do this. Well, good morning. 866 916 0959. Ewart Pest Control Text Line. Happens to be 71090. It's the Jake and Tanner Show. Hi, my name is Jake. I'm one of the hosts of the show. And, um,. I just waved to uh, Sean Waynes because Sean, you know, Sean and Marlon, yes. they, those kind of those guys, those names kind of go hand in hand a little bit. Yeah, the Waynes and brothers. The Waynes brothers. One of the Waynes brothers, Sean Waynes, is walking around. He's 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 got to be at Skyline Comedy Club, I would yeah. think. And um, I waved to him because we used to, my wife and I used to watch his show, him and Marlon's show. Oh, really? I think it was called the Waynes Brothers. Yes. Um, years and years ago, and uh, just destiny. What? <laughs> I was supposed to be doing this radio, and he was supposed to be rich and famous, and we were supposed to meet and wave to each other. Um, now, I, I I don't know. It's weird because I do. You you said you get really weird around celebrities. I get so weird. Did you did you say person. hi to him? I did. And were you weird? Yeah. Did you say I, bye instead of hi no, or something? I, I sprinted. <laughs> yeah, um, cause I just what, ran. Well, because uh, he was coming out of APL, and I was walking out of here, and he has just a famous voice. It's not only a famous voice, he just looks like a celebrity. Like, I mean, he just looks he, like it. He towered over everybody. Yeah. He's like 6'10", sure. 6'11". I don't know how tall. Either way, godlike, I would say. Think he's single? And he was like, maybe. Um, and I was like, uh, walking out and he was like, hey, is there a bathroom around here? And I was like, it's over here. And then I started sprinting. Do you like, really ah. want it? I get so weird. He had, to, he had to just look at the bathroom and go, really? I hope... Yeah, there's yeah. no appropriate one to go to. No, they're just... Uh, I should have ran in both those bathrooms and played our show and then just said, We're going on! <laughs> Sean might be pooping! I, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta go! I said, uh, when I first got here, because, yeah, celebrity, doing those interviews kind of make me nervous still. Uh, sometimes probably why we avoid them. Yeah. Um, also, but the ones that I can do that I don't really care are foot it, football. The football, because yeah. I just, for some reason, I, when I got here, Wisconsin was so weird, well, especially being in Green Bay and Green Bay Packers being yeah. around. I remember Katie from Murphy and those guys, when I was working over there, I told her, she was she was talking about Aaron, I go, oh, you look, that's weird, you look at him like he's a celebrity, and he goes, well, he is. And it's before, before I think, Aaron's very celebrity he now. He is very celebrity now. But I go, so let me get this straight, would you be more... Starstruck with Aaron or Brad Pitt. This is what I was telling her. Yeah. And she said, probably Aaron. And I blew my mind. That blows my mind. Because in my head, if I see Brad Pitt, I'm going to lose my mind. Do you do you look at the celebrity? Do you look at football players as celebrities? To a certain like I said, it's weird. Because like when we sat and took that picture with Clay Matthews, who who is a big name on the Packers. I didn't freak out. Wait, is he still there? No, he's not there anymore. How but, long ago did he? Uh, last year? I think this might be the first season he's not with the Packers. Where's he at? Ooh, I think he went to the Bengals. No, he's in the Rams. Um, so I was like, Educated. that was fine. But when I ran into Aaron Rodgers and Olivia Munn at that cheesecake heaven in Green Bay, I, I, I told Kayla, I was like, we need to leave. I'm acting Does weird. <laughs> And they were just in front of me. Does, and uh, I was, she was like, do you want to get this for here? And I was like, no, no, no. Does like, Olivia Munn look more of a celebrity than Rogers? Them together was a weird celebrity look. They looked better than everybody. And we were the only four people in there. Now, does he, does she look prettier than him? Yes. E even in their, yes. okay. She was not and, on the television. And it's funny because they were, they were just kind of normal people people that day like she was wearing sweatpants and like a hoodie and he was wearing sweatpants and like a, a light jacket or like they look like they just woke up like if they were anywhere other than green bay they probably wouldn't look famous or be recognized yeah probably not 
Like they just they look like when you used to sit with your wife and you were hung over uh and it's like let's just run to the store and grab something to eat. Mm-hmm. Like, like that's what they look like. God, she is beautiful. She Olivia really Munn is so is. pretty. Man, we, we talk about this a lot, but Attack of the Show, it used to be on a network called G4, and it was all about video games and stuff. But when she was on there, like, she was everybody's crush. Because she was just the prettiest thing to ever happen to gamers. Did I? That is true. <laughs> Oh, wait, there was another one on there, though, called X-Play, Morgan Webb. I had Morgan the biggest Webb, crush yeah. on Morgan Webb. Those, look up Morgan Webb quick. Can we just, uh, Jake and I, take a trip down memory lane? <laughs> hey, bank, did, bank memory lane. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> like, I messed that. Did, uh, did, is he with Danica right now? Aaron? Oh, I don't know. You're right. Yeah, they, they just bought a mansion together. I'm sorry. You just said words I didn't know. They right. bought a mansion together? Where? Malibu. Cali? Wait, is Malibu in California or Florida? Thought I thought California. Yeah, you say that, but I don't know if I'm in a tax bracket that even lets me <laughs> Google that place. <laughs> Google just goes blank. No, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna make a bad decision, <laughs> aren't you? All right, let's see this mansion that yeah. they're at. Text TV to seven to ninety. You can look at this with us. Aaron has a mansion. Oh, in he's Green just the Bay. ugliest, ugliest he's, man on the planet. The yeah, thing that. It. The thing that, God, screw you. The thing that, where does he live here? I know he lives in Howard. He bought my wife a rose once, and I'm not okay with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was buying all the people, or the, the, the girls. Piggly wrong. Wiggly, cause it's if, a very, I feel like it's a very hashtag me too A little bit, yeah. yeah. Probably got a lawsuit, Tanner, if you want to wanna act on that. Four, $442,500 a month. In 2005, he bought that. He just got drafted. Wait, the there's Packers. his house in Green Bay, right here. That's his house in Green Bay. Well, that's a modest house. It's got brown. It's got brown cabinets. Brown cabinets. <laughs> that's a modest house. It really is. I mean, that's, yeah, that's not a- that's not something that that you and I would look at and say that's unobtainable. No. But also, I don't know where that is. Which, by the way. What is, is, I uh, think it's in Green Bay because people like police, pizza delivery people who work in Green Bay say that they have gone to his house. Well, I know he's there's like a, near your Culver's. There's something big going on with the Packers. Oh, yes. Can we do that? <laughs> you told me this yesterday. I, I and I'm said, like, <laughs> you said, do you know anything about anything about Packers? I Because we were sitting at Tanner's and uh, they had NF, or ESPN on and I looked at Jake and I said, do you know anything that's going on with the Packers? He's like, are you the football team? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and, and, and he was like, no, I think. And I was like, shut up. I want to ask you tomorrow to give your take on Sundays. I want you, without having any knowledge of who they're playing, sure. where they're playing, and what r- round of the playoffs it is, to give your prediction for Sunday's <laughs> game. <laughs> I got to remember. No? Wait, what? Uh, How much uh, a what, touchdown uh, is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to re- I'm trying to recreate what happened when I got my uh, at Barbara Riches because they were all talking about their predictions. I just gotta just figure out what they said and repeat it. <laughs> Hi, who's this? this is Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian. Brian, we're gonna Hi. be playing Take from Jake and Tan. Are you ready to do this? That's a really pretty name. Yes, is I it am, Scandinavian? It's beautiful. <laughs> Native American. All right. Brian, you're going to be playing against Sydney. It's Sydney edition. $60 up for grabs. All right. Awesome. Now, Sydney is going to leave the room. She can't hear none of the questions nor the answers. She can come back in the room, get the same questions. She wins, low $80 back to Tanner Monday when we play. If you win, you're going to get $60 today. Remember, Brian, if you get. Brian's gone. See you we later, need... Brian. <laughs> Brian, uh, some... we need the Brian hole. Brian's gone. Let's not make any mention of it anymore. So and and uh, really mess with Sydney when she comes back and then she hears like it would be funny if it was a woman. Email? Yeah. Eight six six nine one six zero nine five nine. Hi, who's this? Yo, it's Esai. Esai, what's up, man? Did you just win? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't, can't play, play. Again, Sorry, man. Sorry. Love you. Hi, who's this? Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Yep. Brittany. Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Brittany. You get stuck, remember you can pass. Time willing, we're gonna get back to that question. Okie doke. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Adam Sandler may win an Oscar for what new movie is in, in theaters right now? What is his new movie? 
to pass. What is the other name for a dachshund? Dachshund. A dachshund. That's a it. Dachshund. <laughs> could, I could not figure. Yeah, a dachshund. A dachshund. Uh, a wiener dog or a dachshund? John wiener Bon Jovi. In his song, Blaze of Glory, uses an old coat for a pillow, and what was last night's bed? Yeah. What is Twitter's logo? A bird. Oscar the Grouch has a best friend that is a worm. What is that? What is the worm's name? Yeah. Adam Sandler may win an Oscar for what upcoming movie he's in, or what movie he's in in theaters right now. Oh, God. I don't watch enough movie trailers. No idea. <laughs> John Bon Jovi, in the song Blaze of Glory, uses an old coat for a pillow. And what was last night's bed? A bottle of Jack. Oscar the Grouch is the best friend that is worm. What is the name of that worm? Um, Stinky. I'm going to make a prediction. I think it's going to be a tie. You do? Yeah. All right, we're going to find out. <laughs> Cindy! Ooh! Ooh! We got more Bud Light Seltzer. Hand one over. Yeah. I'm serious right now. Are they warm? Which, by the way, January 13th matter. is when Bud Light Seltzer is uh, going on sale. These things are so... They have so much flavor. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I'm drinking one right now. You should. All right, Sid. How you feeling? Um, I don't know. I was out there for a really long time, so God, not too good. great. God, is that good. Are you ready? Hang on, Brittany. We'll come right back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Adam Sandler may win an Oscar for a movie that he's in in theaters right now. Name the movie. Pass. What is the other name for a, the dog, the Dachshund? Am I saying that right? Yeah. It seems so weird in my nope. head. John Bon Jovi, in his song Blaze of Glory, uses an old coat for a pillow in what was last night's bed? Pass. What is Twitter's logo? A bird. Oscar the Grouch has a best friend that is a worm. What is the name of that worm? I don't know. Adam Sandler may win an Oscar for his uh, movie that's in theaters right now. What is the movie? I should know because you talk about it, but I don't even have a guess. What is the other name for the dog, the Dachshund? A boxer. John Bon Jovi, in his song Plays of Glory, uses an old coat for a pillow in what was last night's bed? I don't know. I don't even understand that question. I don't know what's... Anything is. It's all right. It's all right. We're going to go through these. You might have got all five, Sydney. Yeah, who knows? Hi, Brittany. <laughs> we don't know. Hi. All right, here we go. Let's go through these. Adam Sandler may win an Oscar for his new movie. What's the name of that movie? She said pass, and I don't know. Same with Sydney. Tanner, what is it? Uncut Gems. It's called Uncut Gems. That might be one of the oh. only ones I got. What's the other <laughs> name for a dachshund? Tanner? I said Wiener Dog. It is Wiener Dog. Mm. She did get that point. Yeah. Sydney, not so much. John Bon Jovi in his song Blaze of Glory uses an old coat for a pillow. And what was last night's bed? She said a bottle of Jack. Sydney said, I don't know. I, yeah. a solid guess Park Bench. The yeah. Earth. Oh. The Earth was last oh. night's bed. Earth. It's a cowboy song. It's on Young Guns. Isn't that show with Leslie Nielsen? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Young Guns? Yeah. No, that's Naked Gun. Oh. Young Guns. I will never get those right. Come on now. You guys know those. I didn't know that for sure. Twitter's logo. You both said a bird. You both got that point. It's 2-1 right now. Oscar the Grouch has a best friend. What is the worm's name? She said, I don't know. That was Sydney. Uh, Brittany said pass, and then she said stinky. It's actually slimy. Oh, close. Oh. Hey, Brittany, we're going to get you $60 today, Laura. Right? Those are hard. Hang on real quick. Uh, put you on hold, and we're going to get all your information. I don't think they were. Man, I thought they were. I, but I, I but got these three. came out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I, I would have got three. I would have got Uncut Gems. I would have got the Twitter. Wiener and I Dog. Got Wiener Dog. I don't think I would have got... Actually, the Oscar the Grouch one, I wouldn't have got. I didn't know that there was a worm on that. Hey, all $60. We're going to go back to 20 when we play uh, Monday with Tanner. Take him, chicken Tanner. Put Thicket in your drink. Yeah, you could do that. Put some Thicket in that Bud Light seltzer. Put Thicket in this perfect I drink. Yeah, I bet you'd be still be. I bet you'd still be fine. I'm sure it'd still be good, but I'm not gonna ruin my good day with Thicket. Ugh. Hey, um, Tanner, you're gonna ask me some questions of what's going on with the Packers. Mm-hmm. All right, we might be doing that next. You are listening to the Jake and Tanner Show. Good morning.
Weird day. Got a weird feel. I think it's a snow coming. Hey, it's the Jake and Tanner Show. Jake, Tanner, Sydney, good morning. By the way, you hear us talking about Bud Light Seltzer all the time. January 13th is when this comes out. And uh, we got a sneak peek, sneak preview, sneak, sneak drink of it. Tanner's actually drinking one right now in the yeah. studio. I'm not behind the board. You want to come sit over me. here? You, you can drink. No. What kind are you drinking? <sighs> Mango. That's my favorite flavor. Here's the thing. You know, I was thinking of this yesterday. Um, it's from Bud Light, so you just know it's going to be good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a big, that's a big, great respectable company that's putting out a seltzer so it's like it's like almost tom you don't even it's, have to it's like a tom hanks movie you don't even have to see a trailer i'm just gonna go yeah and just watch it i feel like that's what it's what it's kind of like going to be good it's it's um you know why i don't mind drinking this this early in the morning because it's only 100 calories it's two carbs it's less than a gram of sugar it's got no gluten in it tell me about those flavors though real quick uh there's black cherry lemon lime strawberry and the number one trending one which i firmly believe is the best mango that's what i'm drinking this morning mango seltzer it is so good it is so good so bud light seltzer remember january 13th and is uh when you can get this get it for super bowl it's perfect for a super bowl party oh yeah like when we're down on our way to mexico and we uh, we're doing a, a little super bowl thing at the hotel before we go i'm so excited that it's after monday because they're gonna have bud light seltzer and that's all i'm gonna drink that's it. So remember, January 13th is when uh, when you can get that. I'm trying to find... Oh, here it is. It's time to play. Speaking of the Super Bowl and football. I was trying to tell you what I knew a little bit about it. I didn't know anything about anything yes. until I went into uh, Barbara Rich's in, in Oshkosh. By the way, they are amazing. Yes. He's amazing. He does a lot of good for the community, and he can make... <laughs> He can make you look fresh. You know what I'm upset about is that I've made a decision to grow my hair out again right when Barbara Rich became a friend of the show. Right, yeah, no doubt. I get that. <laughs> I want to go hang out with Barbara Rich, but my hair needs to be long again. So I didn't know. I sh- I bet you Barbara Rich can cut some long hair. I bet you you'll cut. I will go there when, I, uh, when I'm ready for my first trim. Yeah. Um, but as of right now, not quite ready yet. Um. So anyway... I, I didn't know anything of going on with anything until I went there on Monday and they started talking about it. Yep. And I hurried up and acted like I was talking on my phone so they wouldn't ask me any questions because it was just, yes. you know, like I would say, it's so friendly in, in Barbara Rich's place. Like people are just coming and hanging out. That was my first experience. You've seen like the barbershop uh, movies. Uh, movies. Yeah. It's like there and people are just talking to have conversations and, and they like like each other. So yeah. It doesn't feel like a business. And that's what, that's what it was like. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God, they're going to ask me a question, so I just act like I was talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, Tanner, hey. Hey, yes. I know. We've spent so long talking about football. I do know there's a big game happening. Yes. Uh, what the, is the Super so, Bowl? No, the, no, I don't think it's Super Bowl. <laughs> Bowl oh, view. yay. Bowl view. Yay. We're going to be like this. So, That's what, great. It's in February. So, yeah, we, me, give me some questions here. Okay. The predictions. Um, uh, one, who do you think is going to win? Probably. Wait, what game are we talking about? This game, the, the Packers game, game on Sunday. Right. Oh, okay. I um, didn't know that. Was, who's playing? Okay. Yeah, who's playing the Packers? Let's yes. start with that. Rams. No, Wrong. I think San Francisco. Wrong. No, yes. Wrong. No, no because- San Francisco are the Rams. No. Okay. No, Ram or the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> what? Rams. No, they're Chargers. They're in. <laughs> Who are the, the, they're the in LA? They're in LA. <laughs> yeah. I know this. No, they used they to be are. in St. Louis. The Saint. No, I'm pretty Louis, sure it's St. Louis Rams. It's the St. Louis Rams. It's the LA no, no, Chargers. It's the LA. Yeah. Okay. It's the LA God, Chargers. You're stupid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the uh, Las Vegas Rams. Wait a minute. It's not St. Louis Rams. No, they moved. They when? Moved. When did they move? Like a year or two ago. I think it's the. Maybe it's the L.A. Ram. I don't know. That West Coast is against. Which, by the way, this is an award-winning sports show. People are getting yes. so mad at so, us. So you, the you L.A. Chargers. It, when Sydney and I tell you our predictions, this is a sport. This is a sport or award-winning sports show right now. Um, um, I just checked my text. Darren just texted in who they're playing. Yeah, I, I, I just flipped my phone over. Yeah. 
I Wait, saw it you too. Gotta get, you gotta get off, get off the text lines. Get off that now, because you're gonna be playing against me here. Okay. Okay. But it's we'll ring so, in, we'll ring in with names. If you can ask some questions, we'll ring in with our names and give our predictions. Believe this. It's the LA Rams and the LA Chargers. Mm. They have two teams okay. in a city that does not care about football. Right. And then it's going to be the Wait, Las Vegas Detroit? Raiders. No, okay. Raiders. Okay, who is, are the Packers playing on Sunday? Jake, Seattle. Tanner, or Jake. Jake is correct. <laughs> Fun <laughs> fact. I like when just doing correct, yeah. you just Damn. say your name. That's yep. a good brand. Um, okay. I just got that because Darren just texted me. Okay. I just flipped the phone over low. Who I is, take- where is this game being played? Jake. <laughs> Sydney Green Bay because they're asking for shovelers. Yes, Green Bay. Green Bay. I that said is you didn't. You can't just jump. I said my name. Point to Sydney. You what? didn't say. I was saying. Point to Sydney. I, that's not fair. So if if she says her name, yes. I can just say my name real quick and just take over the answer. Yeah. yeah. You were stalling. I uh, judges are out on that one. We don't know yet. Um, All in favor, say aye. <laughs> aye. <laughs> Opposed, nay. <laughs> <laughs> I say of it. Um, okay. Who are the, the, the this is Las stupid. Vegas, or the uh, San Francisco 49ers are the next best team. They're lo- uh, voted to probably win the Super Bowl. Who are they playing on Saturday? They're playing? Wait. I thought we were talking about the Packers. No, more teams play than once. Yeah, I want this. Oh, this yeah, is a this playoffs. Is down, this is down to the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> so, uh, so what was the question? Who's San Francisco playing? Who's San Francisco playing? This is um, Rams. They're, wait, they're playing. Incorrect. Is it the coast thing? Are they playing? <laughs> the Giants. Wrong. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Buffa- it, Buffalo. Buffalo. No, no, not Buffalo. The the dudes are always in it. Patriots. The Patriots. No, they're out. That was a huge thing. It was. Who, okay. who, who did the Patriots lose to? Yeah, Rams. Wrong. Wait, Ram? I'm going to hit one with the Rams. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are. It, the Texans. Titans. Titans. Uh, point to Sydney. Boy, I didn't know that. Um, the San Francisco 49ers are playing the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, I knew that. With a new man? What? Oh. Um, and that game goes on. Wait, that is Saturday. that Saturday? That's Saturday. The Baltimore. Oh, Jake. Ravens. Who are Jake the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens playing? Rams. Jake Rams. Rams, <laughs> right? <laughs> the Ravens <laughs> are playing will, the Rams. Will be playing. Let me just uh, uh, double check this quick. I think they're playing the Rams. I don't know that for sure, but I think they're the Rams. Wow. Yay, Yay, Jake! Yay! No, nope, they're playing the Titans. Ah! Never mind. Dang it. I'm sorry, Jake. Sydney, Titans. <laughs> Just another point for Sydney. That's so stupid. Jake, what day is the Super Bowl? It's not Wait, Jake, Sydney. Sunday. Sunday the second. Wait, you can't add. That's another point for Sydney. You can't just <laughs> ask me and then just jump over me. <laughs> What is the formula? Where, when is the Super Bowl every year? Sundays. Jake, Sundays. Sydney, okay, where it's warm. No, what? What? <laughs> it's always in, when it's is always the, the Super first Bowl? weekend in February. Correct, Jake. That's a point for Jake. <gasps> Fun fact, who was born on a Super Bowl? Who was? Jake. Rams. Sydney. Oh. Damn it. Another point for Sydney. <laughs> Wait, she can't. She asked the question and answered herself. <laughs> she, she can't get her point. Where are the judges? Okay, Jake. Yeah. All right. The Seattle Seahawks, Russell Wilson is currently 0-3 in that Lambeau. The, dude, is that the dude that Wait. beat his wife? No. Okay. Russell Wilson? Yeah, didn't Russell Wilson? No. no. I don't want to start that rumor. I don't think Sorry, Russell Ross. Wilson beat his wife. I think you're thinking of Ray Rice. No. Chris Brown. Sorry, Who's Chris the Brown. guy who played for the... <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a guy who had like um, a dog fighting ring? Yeah, it's oh, Michael, yeah, Vick. Michael Vick. Why don't you ask me that? Sydney t- Michael Vick. <laughs> Another point for Sydney. <laughs> the dumbest thing I've ever okay. heard. Jake, Russell Wilson Wait, is, is that, is that why everybody's wearing their Packer things here today? Probably. Oh! <laughs> it makes sense. I was like, I thought everybody was like in a weird email that just everybody's like that doing we're just it not out. Included yeah. in. Jake, Russell Wilson is 0 3 in Green yeah. Bay. What does that mean? 
I'm sorry. Russell, Russell Wilson, Wilson is, is 0 3 in Green Bay. What does that mean? He's, that he is ca- he has caught three touchdowns. He passes. is a quarterback. What? <laughs> he's the quarterback. Sydney. He's. <laughs> Wait, I thought I thought you said sorry. I just want to. I, I thought you said that he was playing for the Packers. No, Russell Wilson is. You never the told Seattle me. Seattle Sea. He's the Seattle Seahawks. He has lost every game that he's yes. played in here. Green Bay. That is correct. Wait, point for Jake. He already had a guess. Why well, you? You Sydney. have been asking your, <laughs> and answering your own question. Uh, Sydney, thank you for pointing that out. Sydney, your answer. Sydney, he's lost three times. <laughs> okay, that's another point for Sydney. <laughs> this is dumb. Is anybody keeping track? Because I am not anymore. No, Jake. <laughs> You have um, my grandma got me a Packer scarf. I feel like I should be wearing it. Yeah, you're winning. It shows <laughs> that you have that Packers gear. <laughs> now, Jay. Final question. Final question. What will the outcome of this game be? I want a score. Oh. Are we talking about the game this weekend? Yes, this weekend. If they lose this weekend, what happens? Twenty-one three. Twenty-one three Packers. Twenty-one three Rams. The Rams are not playing! No, they're playing, just not the Packers. No, they're not playing at all! You just said they were playing point for you, Sydney. Where are they playing? <laughs> the Rams are not playing! Point for you! I'm 99% said, sure they're... they're oh, no, the Titans are playing. Yes. Still a point. Now you get another point for knowing that. I'm like 90% I'm giving sure points though. Still. <laughs> so, I think the Rams... Or, the... I think 21... To um, 3. Ti- Titans. Okay. 21 to 3. Do you want to run through all the playoff games and give your prediction? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Can you pull up the that. playoff games on there? And we will. Uh, How we'll many? Have, yeah, I thought there was only two. I think there's four. Okay. There's four, and the next will be the AFC NFC Championship. Hey, Jake, do you, do you know? Do you know how question. I say? Do you know how? Oh, go ahead. Bonus question: What division is the Packers in? AFC or NFC? Sydney, NFC. NFC. Correct, Jake. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it was a 50-50 shot. Okay. I, I just hear you say NFC a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does Tanner like football? Yeah, do. he, he, does, he doesn't mind it. I, I like football. I hate watching football alone. So yeah. if anybody ever invites me over to their house to play football I'm, or to watch football, I'm like there. I love it, as um, you can tell. Okay, so first game, Titans versus Baltimore. What is your prediction? Who will win? Let's just do that. Titans are going to win that. Titans. Wait, let's write this down, though. Yes. we got to write this down so, so we can, can find out. Down. Uh, in the Baltimore Titans do I, game. Do I have to give a score on uh, if that? If you want to. Um. Uh, all right, you seven, can, uh, seven, fourteen, seven, fourteen Titans. Well, fourteen, seven, whatever. fourteen, seven Titans. Okay. Titans in uh, the Rams or whatever that bird is, Raven. Ravens, yes. Uh, Vikings versus San Francisco. San Francisco is number one. They are a very dominant team, and it's going to be in Wait, San they're re- Francisco. They're really good. They are very good. really good this the year. Vikings were not supposed to win that game against. Um, they weren't supposed to win that game against the Saints so much that the NFL's promo video doesn't have the Vikings in it. It has the Saints in it because they made it before that outcome. Same thing with the Patriots Titans. 27 6. San Francisco. Okay. 27 6. San Francisco. That would be a terrible thing to happen to the Green Bay Packers. Why? They, Cause would they because then, would they ultimately lose Packers right away? Packers would have to go to San Francisco, and Packers don't do well in San Francisco. But oh, they don't do good. They're like they don't. But not like Gremlins don't like light. Yeah, they don't like uh, but hills. If, if if Minnesota has to come to Green Bay, that would be fantastic. Okay, next one. God. The uh, oh, there's this tennis one. or the uh, Titans. Texans. The no, those are the Titans. No, because you no, said this was Texans. the Titans. You're right. That's a Texans. Uh, the Texans Sydney. versus Kansas City. Yep, another point, <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> so stupid. What am I looking at? The this one right here. Okay. Kansas City versus oh, the Titans or the Texans. Let's go, Kansas th- City thirty-five. Kansas City thirty-five. And the Texans, 14. Ooh, that's a high-scoring game. And then, and then I, what did I already say? I want you to keep 21, that. You said 21-3. 21-3, Seattle. No, Seattle, I said. You said Seattle? I said oh, Seattle. Oh, you think Green Bay is going to get whooped up yeah. this weekend? I kind of, listen, listen, I don't I, really know this. I hope, I hope they don't because I like watching the Packers in the postseason. It would be nice to do another Super Bowl with them, but... I think that's a safe bet. Hey, Sydney, can you get this uh, get this segment and uh, send it? Because we're gonna we're about ready to win another sports award. Hell yeah! 
Hey, uh, visit North Star Mohican Casino Resort for amazing cash and prize giveaways and world-class entertainment. For events and info, visit NorthStarCasinoResort.com. Let's go ahead and put that on Facebook, too. Yep. Put because Jake's I, predictions on Facebook. And let's just see how close that I, I do. I, I have do it. Okay. Hey, by the way, we just played a take from Jake and Tanner. I want to make sure I give some love to Prospera Credit Union with Life Stage Personal Guidance. Without them, we wouldn't be able to give away some money. So thank you so much. More Jake and Tanner show next. Well, that's all. <laughs> no, we said when it rains, it pours. Yeah, it does. Hey, it's Jake and Tanner Show. Jake Tanner said, Nick, good morning. Man, we really like doing what we do. It is a ton of fun. And I don't think that we thank you as a listener enough and uh, how much it, it means to listen to this stupid radio show and help us feed our family. Yeah. I mean, I, I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. We get to... Uh, we get to get. We think we entertain. We try to real hard, and uh, we really appreciate you 
Appreciate you listening. I want to cry. I'm just want to cry. <laughs> predictions are up. My football predictions. Tanner quizzed me. Yeah. And uh, know that we are a sports award winning radio show. Yes. I like people saying this. I cannot wait until you guys introduce yourself as a two-time award-winning sports show because we're going to send that last segment in. Oh, damn WBAs. right. Um, by the way, you get a chance. You need to check out uh, Bud Light Seltzer. We cannot... Cannot stress sh- enough. I'm, I'm not kidding. I was going th- to... We only we only get to... We only do things that we approve of to do these live reads. Yes. Um, we like, never in our contract it states that we never are going to do something just to forced. do it. We can say no to these. Yes. So when you hear us and you go, well, "That's just an ad," yeah, but it is things that we actually believe in. Yes. And this Bud Light Seltzer, before we even signed up or signed with them, we tasted this, and it is amazing. Yeah. And it is flavorful, and it is a great seltzer. Oh my God, is it flavorful? Like. So much. Like when you get drink a mango uh Bud Light Seltzer, like you're it's a mango drink. It's great. And like I was saying, it's from Bud Light, so you know like you just know, you like know it's, that it's, the it's, quality is there. I, I compare it to a Tom Hanks movie. I yes. really do. I just go like you know, you don't even have to watch the the you don't even have to watch the trailer, you just go, That's Tom Hanks. Yeah. I'm gonna probably like this. And knowing how good it tastes with only having uh, a gram of sugar or less than a gram of sugar. Sure. It's it's almost magic. So a hundred, yeah, like he was a hundred calories, two grams of sugar, less than, or I mean, two two carbs, less than one gram of sugar, gluten free, no artificial flavors. Listen, black cherry, lemon, lime, strawberry, mango. Mango's January thirteenth, we got the teas, we got the teasers on this, but January thirteenth mm-hmm. is when it's going to go on sale for public. Mm-hmm. Uh, so remember, Bud Light Seltzer, that is your new favorite drink. Remember that. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I had no idea. That this happened, or maybe I... Do you remember anything that went on with the McDonald's Monopoly scam? Yes. I love McDonald's Monopoly. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love can Ma- you, McDonald's Monopoly? The can, last time they had McDonald's Monopoly was over six years ago. Can you do the clock hour? Get to the clock hour really quick, because there, there is a YouTube video that I want you to play. Now, did you know between 1995 and 2001, the game was rigged? Oh, yeah, it felt rigged. No. Like it did. No. It I mean, felt people like were going it was to, so people were easy going to prison. To be, yeah, it felt like a game that could be so easily rigged. So there is it. Let me read this, because I was reading this this morning, and I was like, because I was trying to collect these. I was trying Who to play didn't? the game. You'd get the no, board. No, no, I need you to go to the clock hour and oh. click the link on it, because I actually, there's a documentary now coming to, Net, I believe, Netflix, that is all about this, produced by Mark Wahlberg. Do they not do this anymore? No, they haven't done it. I don't think. Well, it just said it. it's been it's been six years, but so this well, the- dude took a job at a printing company, right? Where he worked with one of his clients on this five hundred million McDonald's account. He went on and hired a market this Simon Marketing and was responsible for overseeing the printing of McDonald's game pieces. Okay, Mm -hmm. and transporting them from the production presses to the packaging factory. He was known, this guy, for running a tight ship. This is what the report says. He inspected workers, checked their shoes. They want to make sure that he wasn't, they weren't stealing any of these pieces. Well, in 89, he made his first slip up, giving the stepbrother a game piece worth $25,000. Oh, my God. Because he, there was, there's got to be one person that oversees all this. Yes. Um, he did it. He admitted he did it to see if he could get away with it. Yep. Six years later, in 1995, a pri- there was a prize drawing when the computer randomly selected a factory in Canada to receive the game pieces, okay? Yep. Well, Simon Marketing re-ran the program and re-ran the program until it chose an area in the United States. That's what this Jacobson said. Okay. Jacobson's the one that's getting in trouble. But yep. He reportedly decided it was time to cash in, considering the game already appeared to be rigged. People were talking about there was rumors. This sparked nearly a decade's worth of fraud. Apparently, this guy was handing out winning pieces to family members. Yep. Mobsters. Psychics. Strict strip club owners. Convicts. Drug traffickers. It became a point where the mob was asking for these. Oh, that's intense. That messed up with psychics and the mob. His network won almost every prize for 12 years it was coming through him. That is... It makes me feel oh. so bad. Apparently, they did. They still do it. 
Oh, they they are doing it. I just read right here. When did uh or when did McDonald's monopoly 2019 end? The competition kicked off in March and then remember? ended on April 30th. Look at the text. Oh, well, Sydney fact. Yeah, they did it last year. <laughs> <laughs> I love all that. That's your new thing. The last time they did it here. Like in How Wisconsin. sure are you? I'm pretty sure because I frequent <laughs> McDonald's a lot. So <laughs> you're saying that they have not done McDonald's monopoly in Wisconsin for six years. The last time I know for a fact that they did it was when I went to a Bernie Sanders rally and I had McDonald's. So when was that? Hey, there. Uh, wow, you got less I than six Bernie. years, maybe three years ago. Well, they was doing it at KTI. Yeah, Bernie was around here at KTI times, wasn't he? Yeah, I yeah. mean the, the election was in 2016. Hey, um. <clears throat> I remember my little scam with McDonald's. I'll admit to this. I, yeah. I was pulling, uh, <laughs> and I would dr- go through the drive through at these McDonald's and I asked for water. I'd ask for a large water, and they were giving me cups that had the McDonald's pieces <gasps> on it. That's your scam? That, that's Wait, my scam. But the McDonald's Monopoly pieces were on the medium cups. Well, whatever it was. I This was, you, now you got to understand, this is way, this was probably before you were born. Remember? This was, this was, I don't even think I could drink legally then. Remember when they were coming on hash browns mm-hmm. and hash browns mm-hmm. were only a buck? Be like, oh yeah, can I get 25 hash browns, please? Boy, I've I really got think, Park Place just looking for boardwalk. So let's listen. <sighs> I had a guy in eighth grade tell Jason Earl. Oh, screw you, Jason Earl. He told me he had boardwalk. And I said, I have Park Place. And for like a week in my eighth grade head, I thought we were millionaires. Oh, yeah. And then he told me at the end of the week, because I kept bugging him and bugging him. He's like, yeah, I never had that. I'm like, you are the biggest jerk. Nobody got bored. Let's so anyway. HBO is coming out with it's called McMillions, and it's all about this. Let's let's listen to this. You can watch it by the way if you text TV to seven ten ninety. I have a story for you. This story has got everything: revenge, drugs, greed, psychics. Ronald McDonald. Somebody went to the FBI and said, "Guess what's happening?" The McDonald's monopoly game was fixed. The bureau thought it was just some BS story. Fast food fraud was not making any list of priorities. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is what makes my fun meter go. McDonald Monopoly game gave millions of people a chance to win. But from 1989 to 2001, there were almost no legitimate million dollar winners. Oh my the God. FBI told us the game pieces are being stolen. McDonald's was shocked. Conversations on the wiretap were coming in. I'm hearing the name Uncle Jerry thrown around on the phone. We started focusing more on trying to figure out who he was. He's a freaking gangster. Uncle Jerry was getting the tickets and selling them to other people. This is a million dollar winning ticket. And he's got it in a Ziploc sandwich bag. <laughs> it's not even zip. <laughs> somebody offers you a million dollars, you're going to take it. <laughs> Unless you got to kill somebody, then you might not. I'd do it. You know, you might not be interested. But... We had eight original individuals, which turned into 53. The vast majority of these winners, they're good people. One of my biggest regrets has been involved in this McDonald's thing. Yeah. I just wanted a better life, and I feel like this couldn't come to me if it wasn't meant for me. I've lost everything. This thing wrecked so many people's lives. Oh my God, this looks so good. Doesn't it? How much bigger can this get? And it would get bigger. How much further back could it go? And it would go back further. But things go wrong. They always do. You can get away with something over and over and over. You only got to be caught once. So How it's long? It's called McMillions, and it's on HBO February 3rd. How long? How Was long? He in, uh... he, okay, in 2001, more than 50 people were convicted of this, okay? Okay. He was arrested and sentenced to three years in prison. That's it. And forced to pay back $12.5 million. Okay, never mind. That's now, the, you want to know why we never heard about it, really? Why? Because the trial started uh, September 10th, 2001. This is when it all went down. Oh. So the, 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 the terrorist attacks the next day. Yeah, that, shat- I mean, that took yeah. it over. Yeah, wow. For that to happen almost 20 years ago? and To be honest, I didn't realize McDonald's was doing this since 1989. I thought it was more of like a 1995, 96 thing. Yeah, I didn't know that it was that, that late. So basically, McDonald's Monopoly is as old as I am. Yeah. Um. How long?
how long how long was he scamming it? That's what I was asking. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I do have that because he I said remember. like from ninety was it from ninety one to two thousand one or eighty nine from <clears throat> the nineteen ninety five to two thousand one the game was rigged. So oh my go, six god! Years. Six years. Six years he was doing it. And I bet you at one point in two thousand one he was probably like, man, I think I'm gonna stop. Well, because you, you he were, had to. At one point you're just thinking, I can do this. I can get away with this I'm, over and over again. And but I, I think ha- that's he what he been. thought. Like, yeah. It's been five years and nobody's yeah, caught right. me. I'm going to keep doing it. Is I'm, it addicting? Is that it what it is? To, Just man. the money, how the greed? Was, how much was, was he selling them for? Because he's giving away a million dollars. He's selling a million dollars. What do you pay for that? I'm trying to see if it says in here. Like, I can't wait for this series because I want to know. Because, like, if somebody came up to you right now, Okay. And told you there is a very small chance you'll ever get caught, and if you get caught, you'll probably. So you're saying do. you're saying I have boardwalk. He's showing me I have boardwalk for so much money. I'll give it to you. I'll is give that- it to you. You'll get a million dollars for having these two pieces. Okay, there's a ninety nine point nine percent chance you will never get caught. See, in my head, I would go. Oh yeah, because I know he's fraud. I was thinking he's just handing it, and I just paid for it. Like, like, because anybody could do that if they found it. But I yeah. know that he actually. Yes, oh, and he's boy, like, how this much? this couldn't really happen. I'll buy this from, or you'll, I'll sell this to you. We gotta go. I 10, probably, I'm a ten thousand. Listen, I always say, what would Jesus do? Jesus he would, he would take, take that money. Bet you that man needs that ten thousand dollars. Hey, more Jake and Tanner show. We're gonna do it next. Visit North Star Mohegan Casino Resort for amazing uh, cash and prize giveaways and world class entertainment for events and info. Visit northstarcasinoresort.com.